Heyo, folks. Oh. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh, Jesus, Kyrian, thank you, thank you for the 10 gift subs as ever. Jesus Christ, man. Incredibly kind of you as ever. Hope you're keeping well. Heyo, folks. Do I sound okay? Am I a little less sick? I'm, uh, I'm recovering from a case of Detective Pikachu. My voice might still be a little rough. You're deeper. That's cause... That's cause we're diving. Deeper. <laughs> no, I think, uh... Yeah, I think it's a bit gravelly. Um... Just kind of staving off the last sickness and that. But I, I am, for the most part, okay. I, I feel a lot better than I was on Sunday, where I actually was dying. Uh, it's hilarious watching the uh, Detective Pikachu highlights back. Because you can actually hear me get sicker the longer I play the game. <laughs> and I sound quite ill by, like, the final chapter. Thank God Pikachu is now dead. Oh, God. I, I... Yeah, just, so the, the sole reason the stream is late today... Is I want to get the Pikachu highlights done. So that come the next stream... We can just get it out of our systems. And I don't have to think about that game anymore. So, like, it's done. It's there. Um, I have warned people <laughs> of the game. Um, I, I I went for the... Uh, probably about the meanest title I think I've ever done in the game. Because I, 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 I was thinking to do, like, flawless masterpiece with no flaws whatsoever. But it's like, no, it doesn't deserve that treatment. It really doesn't. Man who hates bad writing, it's more than bad writing. It's so bad. It's just such a greedy game. It's a shame. It's a shame, because it, it could have been great. I, I was really excited for that. I remember talking about it on stream before, that it's either going to be, like, surprisingly good or shockingly terrible. It, it was shockingly terrible. <laughs> I was hoping, though, because I actually really liked the movie. I think the movie's great. I think it's really fun. Ah. Uh. But anyway. What was so bad about the game? It just seemed like a mediocre game. Uh, there's literally no point. It, it commits like cardinal sins of game development. Um, it is boring. There is no rewards for gameplay. There, uh, it, it, every quest is designed to be a tedious fetch quest. It is sloppy. It looks shit. <laughs> it, you can just tell not a lot of love went into it, which is really a real big shame. It's so lazy. 
That it hurts. Ah. But anyway, we're not talking about that today. Let's kill some sharks down. Yeah, we're gonna kill sharks and get out of our system today. I'm excited for to be killing sharks once again. Excited to play more Dave the Diver. I, how much of this game do you reckon we have left? Because I really feel like we are approaching the end of this. This may even be the last Dave the Diver stream. We're gonna see how we get on. Uh, we'll go a while today. See if we can finish it today. Yeah, I feel like we are approaching the, the end. I th This is one of those games, though, where you can kind of just replay it. A lot, it seems. And you can just do a lot of completion objectives. I'm not really too focused on the completion stuff, because uh, you know, I don't really want to catalog every fish and stuff. I'll do a few, but, like, I'm not really about that. We're just going to enjoy ourselves today. I think that's the main thing. I really enjoyed this game though. This game is so charming. There's new content coming out for it soon. Oh really? Are they actually releasing like um we were even talking about that playing this earlier? Are they are they doing like DLC? That's pretty cool. That's a free update. Oh that that's that's pretty cool, yeah. I played them. New content update. That's that's cool. Oh, it's good. I, I know I know Stardew was getting an update before long too. That, that's been long rumored and hinted at. Well, not even rumored. It's been suggested and posted about. Oh Jesus! Thank you for the hype frame there as well, folks. Thank you everyone who subbed. Oh yeah, important bit. I will be posting about this on Twitter as well, uh, soon. But this is an important housekeeping thing. Um, and just schedule for the next while. And then, then we'll get, start getting the day of the diver. Don't worry, it's just important stuff. Um, I am streaming this week. Next week, I'm not here. Uh, the reason being, TwitchCon is on. And I'm going to be doing a bit of traveling around that as well. So the last stream this week will probably be Sunday. And then it's going to be about a week gap. Until we're back with City Skylines 2. And Super Mario Wonder. There's some heavy hitters once we once we get back from the break. Uh, very excited for both of those games. But yeah, TwitchCon is on. Uh, it is on Vegas. And if anyone happens to be going, I will be having a meet and greet panel. Uh, I believe on the Saturday at midday. I think that's my time slot. I have to double check it. Let me see. They've, they've got like a fancy app for this. Apparently now. Yeah. I'm at Station 7, whatever that means. From midday to 2. Time in Vegas. Uh, and there's a way, if anyone is going as well, I think the way they're doing it is you simply reserve a slot on the app, I think. Is how you're supposed to do it. So it's like easier to manage and organize and stuff. You're going to the place where they gamble the most. Oh no. Lucky number seven. <laughs> it's just gonna, like, the meet and greet's just gonna be as, like, here's my table, and it's a blackjack table, and I'm, like, 20 grand in. Like, ah, come here, sit down, hang on. Think I should, think I should take a hit here, or, uh, call it. <laughs> like, Dan, I just want to say hi. Do you think I should hit on 17? <laughs> like, go up to 21? <laughs> Like, no, Dan. <laughs> it's statistically unlikely. <laughs> oh, God. What's 9 plus 10? Hit on 20. It's like, I've got a good feeling for this ace. <laughs> like, no, Dan. You're going to lose it all. Oh, I wish that's how they did it. it uh, not even that. It's like meet and greet space, and it's just me sitting at a slot machine. <laughs> Yeah, hey, come here and sit down. <laughs> like, Dad, it's real nice to meet you. Uh huh. Let me put some more quarters in. <laughs> oh God, that'd be horrific. Ah. Uh. 
But yeah, uh, TwitchCon Vegas. I, I th personally think it's going to be very fun. Uh, Vegas is a fun venue. Um, the way I describe it to folks is it's adult Disneyland. There's just a, a lot of cool shit. It's outside of gambling, too. I am not actually much of a gambler as much as we joke about it on this channel. Um, there's just a shitload of cool shows and things to, to do and see. Uh, so it's just fun being there. Sure you aren't. God damn it. <laughs> You'll never believe me. You'll never believe me. I've gambled, like, I think... I, I It's only twice in my life. Is it twice? I think so. <laughs> only twice since both times I've been in Vegas. He's addicted. <laughs> Compulsive liar. And German was involved. Uh, German and Italics were there. Yeah. So it could be like a proximity thing. Oh, God. But yeah, I will be at TwitchCon Vegas. Uh, hoping to see people there. I'll be there mostly on the Friday and the Saturday. Saturday is a dedicated meet and greet. If anyone here happens to be going, please come up and say hi hey, if you like you see me in the hall or whatnot. Just come and say hi. Uh, some people are always like kind of too shy. Just come say hey. Uh, I, I'm down to see people. And dedicated meet and greets on the Saturday. So it should be a fun time. But yeah, I just want to flag that a bit. I'll post about it. Uh, this week we'll be doing, we'll keep streaming up until Sunday. And then it's just a week off. And then we'll be back with Cities too. Probably we start with Cities 2 uh, the moment we get back. I'm very excited for that. Are you an MCC at TwitchCon? I'm not. I'm not, but a lot of wonderful people are. You've only gambled once if your whole life is a gamble. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah, that's just that's just the housekeeping stuff. I just kind of want to keep people in the loop. Uh, we're gonna go with more Dave today. We'll go just see how we get on. Cause like, if we're nearing the end of the game, then I just yo, know, I, I guess we'll we'll go like a few hours and we'll just check how we're doing. Other people have played this game, so you might be able to even fill me in as we go along. No need to yet. We're just gonna kind of experience it and explore. Do you need a week off because of Detective Pikachu? <laughs> so, Guys, I'm I'm just fucking off to Vegas. That game was atrocious. I'm skipping town. Oh god. Did you lose your mind? Um I I yeah, that's probably the angriest I've gotten in a video game in a long time. Uh, the, the, <laughs> like, it, it's hilarious going through the highlights because uh, like the retrospect is uh, this is the final thing about Detective Pikachu I promise we'll play Dave the Diver then um, but going through the highlights like we had a worry and realization that because we edited the highlights down we made the game look better than it actually is and it's simply an unfortunate side effect of editing the streams into highlights we actually like somewhat fixed the pacing of the game and it's like, ah, fuck. Why have we done this? Because we cut out all the, the meaningless shit. Which is a lot of meaningless shit. Like, it's not there. So the game actually feels significantly better paced. Which is like, ah, fuck. Uh, but there are some cuts even left in there dedicated to showing the tedium. And how it just kind of awful is. Chloe did a lot of fast forwards. There's literally one section where she put it in times 10,000 speed. Because this is just me walking back and forth for like half an hour. Uh, so it's really atrocious. I hacked it, yeah. How's it going, Chloe? So there, there's bits like that to really show how painstaking, how just painful the game is. So, thank you as ever, Chloe, there. Phenomenal job. Ah, oh, God. Game of the Year. Yeah, which... Uh, I think the fact that Pikachu Returns has got a good chance against Baldur's Gate and Tears of the fucking Kingdom. <laughs> Let's see how that goes down, you know? <laughs> I'm sure it's up there in the big fucking leagues. Oh, good lord.
Is Tears of the Kingdom still a uh, top for this year? Yeah, it, it really is. Like, it, it's my favorite Zelda. Um, I, like, Breath of the Wild was already one of my favorite games ever. I, I don't think anyone will ever beat Tears of the Kingdom. Not for a while. I do love it. Uh, have you tried Baldur's Gate 3 yet? I have not had time. And I'm probably- and I'm so just- I'm so upset. I'm probably not gonna be able to play Baldur's Gate until like November at this rate. Because like- like this week it's all a bit go. Because I'm away next week. So I have to uh, like between stream and just kind of sort and stuff out. I'm not gonna have time. And then City Skylines 2 is out and Mario Wonders out and I'm gonna be playing all those. One of these days I'll get around to Baldur's Gate. I'm gonna be like playing it a year from now and be like, huh, this game is pretty good. Like, I, I, cause I, I'm upset. It's like, like something similar happened, like The Witcher 3, and I just never got back to it. I've never played that game. And I really want to. Because <laughs> I feel like I missed the moment when everyone was playing that and talking about it and just having a good time. I, I've just not experienced it. And I love The Witcher 2. I know The Witcher 2 is kind of shit in comparison to The Witcher 3. Not like, how many years old is that now? That's like eight years old. I think I was just busy with uni. I've never got around to it. One of these days. If Detective Pikachu is at the Game Awards, I'm going to kill someone. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh no. I sincerely hope it isn't. Dan, you're not getting any younger. Sorry, yep, sorry, sorry. Dave the Diver, Dave the Diver, hang on. You need, just need to get like Pikachu out of my system. Wash your hands and gargle. Let's Dave it up. Dive the Daver, he's back. What are we doing? We did our shopping last time and then there was something about an ancient civilization. I don't think Cobra knows. Let me just check the, the old to-do list. Is that today? Is it D-Day? I don't think so. Show Niamo the content of the stone slab. I think Niamo is down in the, the Sea People village. Let me check the old calendar. The VIP visit is today. Okay, so I need to make sure I'm back at the restaurant. There's a party on Thursday. I don't even know. I, I, feels, it, I know it's only two days away. It's going to take a while to, for us to even get there. We have more stuff to do like every single day now. Okay, let me go feed the cat. And we'll get started. Hopefully the narwhals won't cause a commotion because they are so awesome. I understand that ancient YouTube reference. I've been around on this website long enough. Long enough. Ancient meme alerted. I've, I've already fed the cat for the day, okay. Please don't call it ancient. Um, but it is. It would have been like 2007. 2007 was 16 years ago. Isn't that crazy? No. <laughs> I feel like me saying that is like, you know, the Dart Vader scream or like, no. <laughs> Reminder, you're old and you're not getting any younger. You had a birthday this year and you have one next year. And Jesus, the year after that isn't looking too good. Nielsen, thank you for a thousand bits. Danny, you today's a date because you're a 10 out of 10. I, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> oh, it's the 10th of October, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's in 2040 and 2000, it is. Rare Twitch Riz. <laughs> Oh god. Okay. Um 
I have to I have to go down to the Sea People Village. Let's head on over. Mother of God, he really is old. Dan's so used to getting insulted by chat, he didn't even recognize a pickup fly. <laughs> so next year, there's gonna be someone on like October first. Are you a one out of ten? calling it now. Keep an eye out for that. It's going to be a long while, but that's going to happen. I have something to drop off at the seed shop. What, what quest is at the seed shop? Is this the tablet? I think so. <laughs> Here's some seeds for you. Oh, because we purchased them. It took him a while to get them. Okay. Can't wait for next month when Dan, Jack, and Kevin are streaming from the retirement home. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Honestly, if I get to that point where I'm, like, old enough. You know, and I'm still doing this. By which I mean, you know, I've turned 30. And I'm somehow still alive and I've not withered to dust. Uh, I, I, I want, I'll be streaming from the retirement home. My advanced elderly age. I want to be that, like, like, you know how there was, like, the Skyrim grandma? I want that to be me. Someday. That's my dream. Yeah, let's plant some seeds. Just, just, just expand it all, too. Yeah, even more. City Skyline's grandfather. <laughs> uh, Elder Scrolls 6 grandpa. Honestly, at the at the rate of releasing games, yeah, it probably will just be Elder Scrolls 6. It'll just be the next one. Oh god, I lived long enough to see a new Elder Scrolls. And like Skyrim Remastered will come out for like the PlayStation 30. Okay, um, I need to show off the tablet. Uh, they were in this place over here, wasn't it? I'm sorry, Dan. The day I turned 31, I got my online computer and all my video games were replaced with PowerPoint and Excel. <laughs> Suddenly, I developed an intense craving to play a round of Solitaire and Minesweeper. What are you doing here? Hey, so um, how you doing? Oh, he's he's reading up. I don't have to see him. I'm sorting books too. How can I help you? Take a look at this picture. It looks like an ancient spell. But I can't understand what it means. I roughly understand it. Where is the stone slab located? In front of a large closed door in the glacial area. According to the book, three large doors. Inside those doors is a switch that would lead to the divine tree control room. Why does a tree have a control room? Did an analysis found that the earthquakes are caused by the divine tree control room. Activate all the switches and you'll be able to access the divine tree control room. Okay, let's see. You need to cast a spell to open the door. Okay, Sulam's gonna cast it. If you're in trouble, I'll leave your hand this time. Let's select you, Sulam. May the King Long's protection be with you. Stop worrying about me, just lead the way, human. We gotta, we gotta wizard this up. Magical Dave. Oh, look. oh, he's gonna kill us once we finish this dialogue. Not the narrow wall. Supposed to cast a spell in the ammo, Tommy. Watch and learn, human. He's doing a dance. Hey, Macarena. <laughs> Door really open. I'm impressed, Swap. Well. Now you realize my greatness. There's a spell, I have to dance as well to open it. That is, I needed to dance to keep with the beat. Oh, should we get inside and check out the place? Your waist hurts from the dance. Unfortunately, you will have to go alone today. 
I have hulaed two hearts today, human. Go to a new region. What we got in there? Please switch to operate the divine tree control room inside. I think this is past coming to trouble. I have no other choice and need to be careful. Yeah, this really does feel like it's starting to come towards the end. This is all like quite grand grandiose compared to everything that came before. A piece of strange rotating equipment is blocking my way. I can start it by myself. You gotta, you gotta push it. The equipment is working. The stakes start moving. I must avoid them. Just uh. Take our time here. Oh, give me that priceless pearl. Jade marble. Oh, I want the pearl. Hang on. Come on, Dave. Oh, this, this is probably gonna get worse. No, it's fine. Oh, they give you ample space. I'm still somehow injuring Dave in all this. That's down there. It's blocked by ice. Do something with this rotating equipment. Have a look, see. I gotta play pinball. Oh, give me the bolt. Uh, what am I looking at? I, I would have thought that it was pinball or something. No, it is. There, there's a thing here. It is pinball. Oh, we got a first try. A stroke of luck. It's Plinko. Oh, okay. Sorry. Chinko Dave cannot stop gambling. There's a will, there's a way. Anything over here? I can mine this, I think, thanks to my fancy knife. I think it's Minecraft diamonds. Can't help myself. Okay. Oh, he's trying to scratch his back. That your King Long will look somewhat strange. Looks slightly different from that King Long depicted in the mural. Maybe that means. Okay, we gotta we gotta help him out a bit. Let me, let me just bend his arm back into position. There we go. That not going? That's his head. There we go. He's looking that way. This arm needs to come up. He's just stretching a bit. Behold. There we go. It's suddenly very spicy down here. Oh no, that's that's one of the the switches. Okay, that's the ultimate goal. You gotta go in like the depths of hell. Your noise from afar. It's must be the first contraption the ammo told me about. Point of view. You're trying to scratch that one part of your back you can't reach. That's that's what he looks like. Yeah. Like, oh, if I could just get it. Ah, 
path back to the surface. Or the entrance, even. We turn to the village and tell Tenzin about this. Oh no, why, why don't we get the other ones first? We don't, we don't have to go all the way back yet. Make the most of the trip, you know? Give me that pearl. Dave's gonna hunt the devil shark, Prince of Hell. I, I desperately want the final boss to just be like a big shark. It'd just be so appropriate, you know? A mega shark. You need Swam to open the other doors anyway. Ah, oh, and he went home. That's right. Uh, okay. Let's just, uh... Come on. No, it... Oh my god, it did not want to just collect him. Okay, at, at this point... Probably just need to take him. Okay, this is this. <laughs> well, this is quite bad. God, I hope we have enough oxygen. <laughs> For your sins. Oh, we can take the mirror back uh, to the sea people. Yeah, we're all right. Thank God for that. Are new seeds available? That that that's great. Get the portal into the background. It's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. It worked out. Legendary shark kill on the brink of death fight in a single narwhal. <laughs> hey, it was it was a tough narwhal though, you know. The vine tree control room is malfunctioning, that's causing the earthquakes. The operate tree switches to enter the control room. I already activated one. Well, I'm ashamed of our people having to rely on you in this matter. Please don't be. The earthquakes are a problem for us too. I remember something. It was written in one of the ancient books. After some work was mutated into Gaddons due to engineered dash schemes, my ancestors created switches to access the control room and scattered them in the glacial area. They created those switches to tighten the security. They have turned to obstacles now denying access to the control room. It's still cold, but the heat coming from the ground is melting the ice. The control room is overheating, causing the water temperatures to rise. The stabilized device and the water temperature will return to normal. So I impolite you, but please hurry before our ancestral home is completely destroyed. Oh, here's, you want some gold? I'll buy some more seeds. Also, Mantis Shrimp commenter here from the last Day of the Diary video. Thanks for the heart art attack. Hope you learned. Oh, thanks for the heart. Hope you learned a lot about the Mantis Shrimp. Oh, yeah, it was the Mantis Shrimp facts. That was cute. Thank you for that, yeah. It's global warming in the control room. <laughs> the ice caps are melting. <laughs> There's the whole village with no luck. What's going on, Ramo? Dave, I think the beluga has suddenly gone missing. Not in the village, he could have gone to the other side of the glacier passage through the open door. Very curious kind. Oh no. Gotta go searching. Not the beluga. How could this happen? Yeah, let's go. Let's go free him from some sharky danger. Help him immediately. Thanks for the harsh attack. To be honest, I'm I'm not used to chat being nice. <laughs> like, oh, a sweet message. Like half the time. But, uh, you know, it's like, like reminding me of how old I am. I, I, th I think that's what it is. Dan's been traumatized by us. 
You are old though. First time chat. I've never spoken on your streams before, but yes, I need to remind you that you are in fact old. <laughs> Jesus. Oh wait, I've got I've gone the wrong way already. Um, just looking for the mirror. God. Old people do tend to get lost. God damn it. No, I I, I need to go to the mirror, and that's how I get back down. No, he's going senile. Let me call the beluga. Oh, the manatee is filling in for him. Bless. That's a manatee, not a beluga. It looks very slow, but I have no choice. I should ride it. <laughs> oh, God. This is not much faster. He's so slow. Oh, he's doing his best. It's like your replacement bus service is here. Oh, God. He's trying so hard. Okay, well, th thank you, Manatee. Trying to get you to enjoy the slow life, Daniel. Oh, it's cold. I mean, your clothes look very warm. Why don't you go inside, take a look? You're weaker than you look. Dave is sick of their shit. Give us some shock triple axle. I don't want that. Break that down. Dan is just a guy at his best age. 28 years young. I'm not that old. I'm young like you. Damn, that's kinda old. More than halfway to 50. You call me old now, and it's gonna happen to you too, chat. It's gonna happen to you too. Just you wait. Now, where, where do we think the beluga is? Need that. Come on, get out of here. You will always be older than us. <laughs> I could take some solace and relief, if you will. Not as old as that guy. Hurry block. I used to be with it, then they changed what it was. Now I'm, what I'm with isn't it, and what it. It is as weird and scary to me. It will happen to you. Remember Abe Simpson's words. Yep. God, I still can't go down there. It's true. I'm in my 30s, so I'm basically dead according to the chat. It's true. You're talking to us from beyond the grave right now. Couldn't be me. Oh god, big boy. Wait, I can bring him home. Oh, transport him, little drone. <laughs> He's so big. <laughs> He's been packaged. Send him on back. So huge.
Amazon strikes again. This we might as well take some of this. Where's the beluga gone? I'm not seeing him anywhere. Is he in like this zone? Q, thank you for five quid. Hi, I just started my uni degree. Had my first tutorials today, and it was amazing. Just wanted to share before the student bankruptcy kicked in. <laughs> God, thanks for being amazing. God love you. Thank you very much. It's very kind. Oh, an actual new gun there. Look at that. The cursed soul gun. Gonna gonna dismantle it. Oh my god, don't remind me of that. <laughs> Just gonna remind you of all your responsibilities at once. Huh. Did you pay your bills yet? Yo, taxes due at the end of the month. <laughs> oh, oh, the beluga's in trouble. Oh, beluga. Why is it here? Antarctic octopus. It's venomous, maybe poisoned. Uh oh. Oh no, Mr. Beluga. Damn you. Why you little? I'm not letting you go. Stop there. <laughs> Just shoot him. I don't think you can. I think he's supposed to follow. The Minecraft diamonds. Have all that now. I got one second. This is a, I need to get this salt. Am I supposed to catch him? No, oh, okay, just lead him here. He's so scared. I cornered this one. Looks kind of pitiful up close. Can't be weak now. I was showing who's boss. <laughs> we get a choice. Now, he's not a shark. He's not a shark. So I will rescue him. Oh, this is the correct choice. He gave us some rewards. Here's the antidote. The jade fish statue. He's not a shark. So, you know, we, we gotta let him go. You should have eaten him whole. <laughs> just... Dave just like unhinges his jaw. <laughs> What an un -RT thing to do. I'm not always like a violent killer in every game I play. I feel like we have to clear that up. Like we've played a lot where like, you know, we worked even really hard to keep everyone alive. I feel like I I'm at, at some point, at some point I'm gonna do like a pacifist run of like Fallout or something. Just to kind of get this like misconception out of it, like, like out there. That we can actually try and not murder. Press X to doubt. The Wooloos beg to differ. Ah, but they were asking for it. There's a difference, right? And it was also funny. But you have to understand. Them. 
You never made a single city Scotland city without mass murder. That's not true! I made a perfect city once, and then for an episode, I didn't murder it. For a stream, even. One road city lived. That one didn't die. I... Where the fuck is the beluga? It's getting lost. <laughs> the butcher of Sapienza. So like, I'm not a murderer, guys. Like, that claims mass killer. <laughs> like 250 already in the freezer. We should do a pacifist run of something. I think that would be fun and also quite challenging. I think that would just be like a wild contrast to everything else. I feel like, I'm trying to think what games you could even do that and I feel like Fallout would be one of the few where it kind of works. It's pacifist Skyrim, like, I don't think you can do that in Skyrim. I think it's actually impossible. Sekiro. <laughs> Maybe this like from soft game without attacking anyone. Or can it be? Don't look well. Do you want to try this? I caught your killer. Please drink his venom to get better. look better now, I'm relieved. Why don't you return to the village? You can get there alone, right? I don't claim to be a pacifist. I think the stream title is like, Dave defeats the ocean. <laughs> Which does also imply murder. Oh no. Well, we put a compilation montage of Dan causing mass suffering in the video. <laughs> Please do not do that. Bro, likes for Final Fantasy. I might suggest a pacifist run of Dishonored. I know it's possible because that's how I did my playthrough. Uh, that game I find is actually really not as fun to play as a pacifist. Because you get so many cool ways to kill people. It's an unfortunate one. Like I know it's like a play style you can adapt, but it kind of sucks in comparison to just like having fun. Truly spoken like a pacifist. <laughs> it's just not as fun not killing people, you know? Guys, I'm not a monster. I'm just misunderstood. Yeah, I, I gotta just go back to the village now, yeah? Swim on back. I'm not a monster, I'm a comedian. <laughs> That's worse. I see people. Just misunderstood the man who stuffed 200 people in a meat locker. <laughs> look, okay, well, I mean, look, when you phrase it like that, of course I look bad, right? That's just not fair. Okay, wait, who have I got to talk to? We found the beluga. Is it the king? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Does anyone know where the beluga went? Help me out, chat. I've missed something. The beluga is the farmer, is it?
you over here? Hello, sir. Manatee's baby just disappeared. Manatee's mom is also worried things are getting out of hand. Do you have any ideas? Maybe it saw the beluga and went to the glacial area. Oh, no. Oh, the humanity. We gotta, we gotta go help him out. Unfollowed. Yeah, that's fair. That's just someone says that. It's like, no, please, please don't go. Please. Ah, oh, fuck. Shit. I lost him. I gotta go to the mirror. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where's an autopilot today? Losing viewers by the hundreds. <sighs> Mirror! My brain's really on autopilot. Sorry, guys. Detective Pikachu traumatized this man permanently. He's never been the same since, like, the cute Pikachu game, you know? Greatest lie RT ever told is stood for Rumble Tumble, not Rip and Tear. Rip and Tear games would be like so much cooler. Hey, where, where's the baby gone? It's back over here somewhere. Really terrible game. I think really terrible is the most common one. Let's see, like, what does the RT stand for? Do like Root and Toot. That one's fun. It's crying sound is. I should go to where the crying sound is coming from. I, di I didn't even hear it. You guys hear it? Now I hear it. It's like a Tim Allen noise. He's down here. Okay. The entrance blocked after the baby went in. Maybe I could break it if I drop something heavy. Yeah. Roomba torture games. we are gonna need a few more bowlers. OMG, it's roasty toasty. <laughs> Baby well all over again. Except this time we're actually helping him out. Open, let's go inside. Like there doesn't seem to be any other objective for us left. It's like we might as well just go to his aid. Rickle tickle cave. I don't like that. That's uncomfortable. Detective Tikachu. <laughs> There's a baby manatee in here. Looks scared. We need to calm it down. Pet the manatee. Honestly, this is like the best kind of gameplay. Pet the sea potato. He's sad. Let's closely watch his reaction while petting him. Let's try again. Okay, there we go.
He's got specific spots to itch. He will not be satisfied unless they are addressed. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Let's calm down a bit. Shall we head out? Bring him home. <laughs> you failed at petting. Oh no, the narwhal. Take him down, Dave. Let me, let me carry this guy up. Oh no, I killed him slightly off. No, we're good. I killed him slightly off screen. The narwhal had to go. Come on, little man, is he? How did you even get in here? <laughs> Finally, an enemy. I don't have to feel uh, that, that Dave is experienced with. I don't need to doubt this one. This one's okay to murder. We've established. Sushi bars seem like a whole case of serving up protected species. <laughs> it really is. It's quite monstrous what Banjo's doing. Like, which endangered species would you like? We only serve rare ones. Safe to the village. Okay, there he goes. Another, another quest complete. Go to Gumo. It's gotta solve the village's problems once again. Would you like a critically endangered species or the extinct in the wild species? <laughs> Oh god. We got all sorts on the menu. The days when we serve the last one. I see people. Even the notorious butt shark is on the menu. <laughs> God. Oh, there's new seeds available. That's great. Don't worry, we freeze dry our extinct species so you can get that exquisite taste. There we go, we found him. Let's see the mom's out ease also. You would have a really good sense of smell. I can actually find it with my nose. Here's something for my gratitude. I have some seeds. Okay, now what? Can can I advance any further in the glacial area? Can you help me out here, chat. I'm not seeing it. It's just vegetable sushi is the only objective. Wait a day to progress the story. Oh, damn it. Well, time to get some critically endangered shark species. On the wrong way again.
glacial area. I grab some tuna too for the party. I don't think I can get tuna now because I already captured a shark. Because I, I need the drone for the tuna, don't I? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get them in a moment. Like, on the next, like, afternoon spot. The next pointer isn't shown. You need to find the second control room switch and only two of the three are available to you right now. Oh wait, can I go find it? This is it just out in the world? No, Mr. Narwhal. God, what, what was that? <laughs> no, not you. Ah! It's gonna have to take on all the narwhals. They're, they're so angry. Just really hate seeing Dave down here. Absolutely illegal. <laughs> I'll just wait till tomorrow. We'll just get some casual hunting in. See if we can find. One of these guys. I can kill him now. <laughs> I spared the other one because I figured the game might have a reward. However, nothing to indicate this one. with us. When will we see Dave destroy the coral reefs? Holy shit. Yeah, this, this guy's gonna just take a while to kill. Let's just keep impaling him a few times. <laughs> Cut him up too. Rank nine fish everywhere. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Still not going to be allowed to go too deep, am I? It'll be like, it's getting spicy! <laughs> no justice in this world. Alright, Dan, there are about a hundred thousand arrows left in the world. I'm sure killing a few thousand Pasushi won't upset anyone. <laughs> like, I just need these ones, guys. They're so tasty. Texas. I will document a few fish. It's so much easier to get them with all the tranquilizer stuff. Just asleep. Three star. I'm not seeing any more sharks down here. Well, probably in the wrong section for it. Haddock. Dave gets a job at Shell. That's the game we're missing, like an oil industry tycoon that tells the oil industry side. No, God, I gotta look out for the little guy there. That's the game we need. Dave, the environmental disaster. Not seeing any sharks, yeah. 
An awesome oil tycoon game called Turmoil. It's very fun. Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, you coming with us, bu buddy? Just open fire on them now. Dave's work is done. We've almost invested the ecology of this region. Let's take a few more samples. No, I can't get them anymore. Darks here, a distant gunshot. Dave, the fourth mass extinction event. <laughs> He is the meteor. Oh shit, I better not drown. Jeez, I only just realized. Oh god. Come on, Dave. Do you get some cheeky little dashes in? Okay, uh, back to the boat for now. Extra flavor from all the gunpowder in that sushi. You know it. Got charcoal sushi coming up. Um, that's the one I want to keep. I think I, I forgot to bring him down. <laughs> Fishery is absolutely a mess at this point. Your day and head over. Uh, today is D Day, so we gotta hop there. The crops have grown though, so we should check that out first. That gunpowder in my sushi, no, it's pepper. <laughs> so I just don't worry about it. Come on. Come on, Dave. Taking his time. Harvest complete. Remove all the weeds to restart farming. Are there any there? I think I got them all. Talk to your man. Can't expand the rice paddy anymore right now. Cherry tomatoes? It's probably something that's like, this is the only crop you want to grow. I already water these. Can't overfish the ocean if there's no fish. Dan, probably. Speaking of fish, hang on. Let's, let's clean up whatever's happening in here. Because th this is probably a mess by now. Oh, I don't have these ones open. Okay, get some of them. There we go. Okay. Oh, we actually captured a whole tuna here. Uh, unfortunately, I do need to serve you up. So, we're gonna <laughs> send him to the kitchen. They're having a party soon. These guys are actually necessary for a really good dish. Regrettably. <laughs> Look at this tank! <laughs> oh, this can't be humane. That's too many sharks. <laughs> Holy shit, they're just stuffed in there. <laughs> That's way too many. <laughs> It's Sea World. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, salmon snail, just send them to the kitchen. Pacific fanfish, the kitchen you go. 
Let's see how they're doing in the depths at night. We're okay there. For now. God, it's so horrific. That depths one is so bad. Dan treats SeaWorld like a shopping center for his sushi. 44, thank you for the 100 bits. Romantis, thank you for 200 bits. Hey, T, I'm planning to move into Ireland when I get out of college. Is that a wise idea? I I personally love Ireland myself. It is, it is expensive place to live. It's the main thing I would say, but it is a lovely country. You don't have as much to worry about in Ireland, I feel. Like, the, the biggest natural disaster, for instance, is like it rains a bit too much sometimes. It feels a bit calmer compared to a lot of the world. And I love it for that. Everywhere is too expensive. Yeah, I feel like that's just the consensus everywhere at the moment. It's just... Everywhere is just like, oh my god. Like, Stuart, Stuart lives in Switzerland, and even these days, like, we compare, like, prices for stuff. And it's fucking Switzerland. And it's somehow slightly cheaper than Dublin now, which is like, what, what, what happened? Switzerland. We're known for being expensive. It's crazy. So bad, yeah, it, it really is. Okay, uh, we gotta go to the restaurant. Oh. Blind and white light. Hey, you ready? Round time, have a seat, won't take long. We're gonna prepare the best veggie sushi known to man. Look at him go. Oh, also, your tuna arrived. <laughs> Wait, did he want veggie sushi? Is this it? I can't remember. Someone did. That that looks really fishy, doesn't it? No, he did want veggie sushi. I could just press Q to put it in the bin. <laughs> Don't do that. Here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, this is it. The taste of this vegetable sushi reminds me of my younger days. Your vegetable sushi is perfect. What's the secret? All I did is season it properly. I also got some help from my acquaintances with the ingredients. Son! What? Dad! Um, I wonder who would eat something like vegetable sushi. I didn't know it was you. Oh. Heard people talk about someone who looks like you. That's why I visited here and ordered vegetable sushi. Oh. It's been eight years since you left home. You never contacted us ever since. Oh. Long story, there was a storm and I got shipwrecked on an uninhabited island. Hmm. Yeah, but he's been fine for a while though, clearly, because he's been working for us oh. this entire time. Um. I spent some years on the island until I got rescued and settled here. What a story, Dad. I wanted to visit home after securing a stable life here. It took so long and time flew. I'm sorry, my boy. Folks in the village think you abandoned us, Dad. My friends pitied me and some mocked me. I began writing music and singing songs to relieve stress and I became a rapper. Hot Pepper Tuna is actually an emotional love letter to his lost dad, you know? Hot Pepper Tuna. My dad left me. I wish he comes back now. Hot pepper tuna. My son is going to such a fine young man, even without me. I am proud of you, son. Blame you so much at first, but the music healed me. It gave me inner peace. You call the way here, why don't you stay at my farm? Of course, like old times. Y'all grow up, we can grab some beer together. He missed his entire childhood. What a plot to us. That rapper was the son of Otto. There's something in common. Both are quite talkative. I agree. Good thing. Bancho Sushi really helped them to reunite. We helped solve a family by making sushi. That gave us 50 likes on Instagram somehow. Look at this. God, we need a lot for the next rank. I, don't, I just don't think we're going to get that on our playthrough. It's like the final one. It's so many. Ok, 
Okay. Um, can I train any staff? Go for it. Looking at 560. That's insane. Any research we can do? Yellowfin tuna steak. That's a specialty one for the event. We probably want that. Vegetable sushi has saved a family. You see, it's that good. You guys are all making fun of me on last stream. Family reunited thanks to vegetable sushi. It's how powerful it is. Okay, I think this is going to be a profitable night. Because we're going to make this. Pop it on the menu. 650 a piece. Look at that vegetable sushi. It's literally the most profitable thing on the menu. It's literally the most profitable thing. Just need carrots and eggplant. If I spend a few, look how look how much through the roof it goes. Enhance it. No, like we're gonna we're gonna have to get out of the shark business. This is the future. Why does the game always take your side when this happens? Because I'm right. And I told you all. Okay, put it on the menu. Auto supply. We'll sell what vegetable sushi we can. And then the rest of it, um, just pop this on. Auto supply. Okay, so that's 10, that's 10, and 3. Do I need another menu item? I can increase the tuna ahead of the tuna event. That's probably a good idea. That's probably a good idea. Increase the Greenland shark. Enhance it. Enhance it. Oh my god. 400! Okay, we don't need to put anything else on the menu. I think that's, I think that's pretty good already. Enhance the tuna. Enhance the tuna. We are going to be prepared for this tuna night. Hence the narwhal. Keep enhancing it. Must make everything more powerful. Gotta be so good. Okay, yep. There's just random shit here now. We, we we're not arsed with that. We have a backup shark that's 300. This is this is already so much. This is gonna be our most profitable day ever. Add some shark to the veggie sushi. I don't think I can. Can't enhance it anymore. Yeah, I have so at least three dishes of that. Say about every night, it's because it's true. Open for business. Get serving them. Look at them go. God, I can't, that's actually an alarming amount. I'm gonna have to help serve him. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> I 
Keep serving him. Keep serving him. Keep serving him. <laughs> oh my god, we're making shit loads. Hold the line. Keep serving. Keep serving. I'll take a few customers here. Get the further away ones. Uh, that, that's our most profitable night now. Nothing comes close. Holy shit. Sales are through the roof. 19,000 gold. New record. The little capitalism man in my head is happy. Me too. That's so much. How I can get the bigger storage box so I can harvest more sharks. Just like I planned. Uh, enter the cave when an outflow and current to turn on the second control room switch. Okay. Anyway, to enter the cave, the current may be weaker today. I should go check. Oh, Otto's calling. Hey, how's it going? He's talking to his son. I want to show you something. Come to the farm if you have time. Bigger number, better person. Am I right? Exactly. You can get chickens. Sammy, what happened to your clothes? I had my posse yesterday, I got all sentimental, you know what I'm saying? I became a rapper because I love music, but I got tired of that celeb life. We could use them to cook with. Give them to you when you get it. here. Take them to the cook. Quit music. They were to enjoy my rural life in nature while writing new songs. You know, I can release new songs at any time online these days. It's so easy to do that. But by the way, what's up with that chicken? I heard some food with neighbors and they gave me this chicken in return. I want to make a yummy, fry I want to make a yummy fried chicken, but my son wants to let it lay eggs. <laughs> He made a chicken farm overnight. He reminds me of my younger self. Got inspiration from the rhythm of the hammer, you know? Mm. It my heart to see you and your son together. Speaking of the chicken from now on, I'll offer you eggs at my farm. Mm. I give you more than one egg because there's only one chicken on my farm. Mm. Want more chickens? Ask Sammy. Only one egg per chicken a day, no more. Two grades for eggs, grade A and grade B. Good grade chickens like good grade yeah. eggs. Yeah. Now raise chickens, you can acquire eggs in the morning and try developing new recipes. That's, re that's very sweet. You acquired a chicken. Oh, how do I improve the nutrients of this? It's just healing. Okay. I could expand the rice paddy or expand a field. Let's get a second row. Let's get that. Harvest the garlic. Okay, so uh, what, what did I need for um, that amazing vegetable sushi? It was just... It's carrot, wasn't it? Uh, good job watering, Dave. Was it carrot and eggplant? So that's all we want. We need some more of this. So much. Okay, uh, should we invest in some chickens? High chance of laying a grade A eggs. Normal eggs. Good chance, high chance. We can just get the best ones. Let's get some free range chickens. First of all, high diver. Oh, I can afford to capture another one. I probably need to get this, don't I? I need the drone. That's so expensive. Oh my god. Okay, let's purchase some free-range chickens. 
Get, get three of them. There we go. Look at them go. I'm gonna get golden eggs soon. Very cute. Yeah, they're having a great time. Okay, uh, I need to feed the cat. Merry Christmas, Mochi. Some cat, extra cat related event, it seems. It's still letting me do this. Ooh, what does that mean on my phone? Did this. Oh, it's the pet in the game, isn't it? I completely forgot that it, that's a thing. Mini games. My Yao, of course. Oh no, he's sick. Here's your food. I gotta clean up the poo. And I gotta heal him. Oh no, my Tamagotchi's gonna die. Completely forgot about him. We just keep feeding him. Grow up big and strong. He doesn't want any more. I completely forgot that was a thing. Apparently it's saying that there's something good I can upgrade here. I don't see it right now. I, th I think I'm good at the moment for upgrades. Okay, uh, let's go to the boat. I need to get tuna and then I need to dive all the way down. It's annoying where the tuna spawn because I have to like jump in here and now I'm gonna have to just swim to the bottom. Okay, buy that. Just two fish at the same time. Um, do I have anything here? Do what the Sea People Village will notice its true value. We should, pro we should probably just keep these things for now. Probably we're a lot of money at the Sea People Village. Okay. Hold on to it for now. This game seems to be like 20 games in one. There's a lot going on, yeah. Uh, Alshix, thank you for the five quid. Hey, RT, I recently published a book and just realized I accidentally designed the protagonist to look like you. So congrats, you're now a mad scientist who turned himself into a god after making omnipotence into a drug and dooming humanity in the process. I mean, in fairness, that sounds like me. Uh. <laughs> no, that's really cool. Thank you very much for that. Uh, congrats on the book, too. That's a big deal. That's pretty cool. Average RT description. Yeah, good luck with the book. Claim royalties. Yeah, that's a me we're talking about. And now I got your written testimony. <laughs> I want to cut all the profits. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, none of that. Oh, that's really cool, though. Uh, good luck with the book. That's cool to see. Carnish their wages. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, copyright my face. <sighs> okay, uh, I need to get the tuna. Uh, how long? Wait, how long do we have for this event? It's tomorrow. Okay. Get some tuna. You'll be hearing from my lawyer soon. <laughs> okay, I need to use the sensor bomb traps to get two loads now. 
because I've got a second drone. I get a shitload of tuna. Where are they? They're still here, right? They're still here, right? There they are. Okay, thank God. Getting worried a second. Ow. Got someone up here. There we go. Take him away. I can get their last friend, too. I might as well while I'm here, yeah. There's only one more. Come on. Can I just tranquilize him to sleep as well? Might be able to. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take the shot when he comes around this time. Stop right there. Aw, <laughs> oh, sweet, we got him. Nice. Tuna get. Okay, now I just have to, like, swim to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, down I go. Uh, I still need you for a dish, I think. Do I even want this shark? I really don't think I do. I don't know if he's any good anymore. That's so weird. Like... Like, pitiful. Just a shark head. Just throw it out. We don't need it anymore. Times have changed. Is that more tuna? Oh, look at these guys! Wait, let me let me capture one of you. Aha! Okay, I can I can severely injure him. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him. He's probably. He's probably bulky, ain't he? I don't remember which one he was. Detective Pikachu returns has really left a mark on you. Hey, cat, how's it going? I, I think that's gonna take a while. Oh, no, maybe not. Actually got him pretty okay. Yellowfin tuna. Oh shit. Okay, this is a different kind of tuna. Oh, now I gotta start gunning them down. We need this. It's gonna take a while. We got that's two. Arb up your friend, he's fighting back, but not for long. Okay, one more. We got them all. I didn't realize there was a second batch of tuna, so we'll keep an eye out for them next time. Cool. Probably get some oxygen, some ammo on the way down. Bro, 
frozen cod is barbaric. Gorman, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Right, they swim so much. They're just they're just upset with the world. I think. Got a, got, they've got it pretty hard. Like, I don't even want to capture this guy. At the time, you used to be scary. I required your flesh. Not anymore. Back in the day, he was the favorite. You have five of that one in a tank, too. Yeah, I actually do have a lot of that shark already captured. <laughs> That's a fair point. Cronus, thank you for uh, 200 bits. RT, I won't sell for McDonald's level sharks. I'll only capture Cheesecake Factory level sharks. I've, I've not had that. I keep hearing amazing, wonderful things about Cheesecake Factory. I'm a cheesecake man. I've never had it. It's pretty mid. Oh shit, that might be controversial. That's not what I've heard. Not that great, depends on the location. Oh, you might upset some people with that discussion. No, everyone, everyone's pretty much the same. It's pretty mid. Oh no. I heard it was this like magical place. Good, but overhyped. Okay. The ad people got us again. <laughs> okay, let me hop all the way down. Okay, well, I'll I'll still supply an in-depth review before long. This is important. It's magical and enjoyable, still mid. Still mid. Were you a shark? I cannot remember. I've not seen you in forever. You're like a copperhead, aren't you? Get in the bag. Cookie cutter. Been to White Castle. I, I don't know what that is. What? <laughs> Guys, I look, I don't I'm not American. I don't know what to tell you, right? I had like Taco Bell for the first time in my life last year. Zaxby's. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. Zaxby sounds like a drain cleaner. <laughs> Raisin cane. Bucky's. I, I don't know. People are just saying, like, franchises. White Castle is good, especially if you want to shit out your guts 30 minutes later. <laughs> oh no. Is this guy even overweight? <laughs> like, is this guy even fat? What's wrong with him? <laughs> No joke, alright, okay, like, uh, this is like me talking about travels in the US. One of like, I, I might be in the minority, I don't know how people feel about this. I may say something very controversial here, I don't know. Because I don't know how people rate these things. Um, Golden Corral was really good. It was like the buffet. With like, huge variety of food types. 
I really enjoyed that. Dude, what? No! It's- look! For 20 bucks, and like, you can pick whatever you want and there's a huge selection. It's pretty good. You're old. <laughs> I had some wonderful broccoli with sautéed mushrooms. Some nice roast ham. Mashed potato, I'm really fucking old. They had, they had some good desserts. Had a great time. I'm so old. I'm so old. Of all places! <laughs> look, I- look, I warned you. I warned you, right? It's pretty good. It was pretty good. Steamed broccoli is so underrated. It absolutely is. I love steamed broccoli. It's so tasty and so good for you. No, it's it's really good. It's good value too. Twenty quid, pretty much all you can eat buffet. Can't complain with that. Broccoli slaps so hard. Yes, it does. Like mushroom as well. Like, oh, it's good stuff. I keep fucking going to the wrong place. To go to the mirror. I'm so old. Have you heard? Had collared greens? Yeah, I don't know what that is. He's on autopilot. I am. I keep going the wrong way. Question that will possibly end your career. What is your thought about Brussels sprouts? Um, I, I had to like beg my family for years to stop serve me forcing me to eat Brussels sprouts for Christmas uh, because I'd actually get violently sick after having them I cannot do Brussels sprouts it's too much for me I'd get really sick after having them and it took like me like I think like, I think I like, threw up one year at Christmas <laughs> and it took that for my mom to be like oh maybe I should stop giving them the Brussels sprouts <laughs> Like, I just, I can't handle them. They're not for me. You might be allergic. I don't think I am. I don't think I am. I just really don't like the taste. It's not one for me. Too spicy. <laughs> Can we beat root? Yeah, no problem with beetroot. Glacial area. Gotta go back down. A tranquilizer level four. Oh, Pretty good. Pretty good. So I need to go down to this thing again, wasn't it? I do like falafels. What do you like to have with them? Oh god, I wish I could remember exactly. There's a place in Dublin that does a, uh, it, it's a menu item just called, I think it's the... I think it's just the Lebanese falafel is what the menu item is. And it's just really fucking tasty. Can't remember what, exactly what's in it, but it's good. That cat food. Dead fried okra. I, I've tried that. That's nice. Oh. Um. You know, let's just poison them. I feel like there's gonna be a boss soon. Thoughts on gherkins. It's like. <laughs> Whenever it's thoughts on, it just feels weirdly political. We need to know what you think. We have to know. What are your thoughts? The 
We're pretty good. Come on, give me that. Do your stance on taking stances. Thoughts on white chocolate? It, it's not good. It's not. I don't think you want me to say that. Some doors are better left close. Yep, uh, that's one that's going to divide people really bad too. Dark chocolate's the best one. It's too spicy. Anything that's like he doesn't like, it's just too spicy. You have to understand this man is very white. Too spicy. Where the fuck is this door again? It's in here somewhere. Dark chocolate's the best one. It's in there. Okay, I see it now. Your favorite vit hit. Oh, God. The elderflower one's pretty good. It's another political food stream. <laughs> the entrance. It must be over here somewhere. Where is it? How do I get in there? I'm getting lost again. But I can see it. It's in that chamber. It must be up and over somewhere, yeah. I can see the bubbles there on the right. I'm gonna have to go like further up and around. Poison sniper rifle, disassemble that. Would you play Detective Pikachu again for a hundred K? Like I'm just trying to imagine the scenario as like, here's a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> here's a one hundred grand. Play it. That's so, that's just so stupid. Like, who would pay that much for like, I love Detective Pikachu. I am Ryan Reynolds himself. How the fuck do I get in there? Oh my god. The Mr. Beast video. Here's a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> it's just so comically stupid. Like, who would do that? Why? Hey, hey, uh, uh, Twitch internet streamer. Hope you're having a good day playing your games, you know? Uh, some some titles I was hoping you'd pick up at some... It is a hundred thousand dollars! Play it. Oh, God. Someone gives RT their own house for them to play Detective Pikachu again. <laughs> Must be a second switch somewhere inside, but strong curves block it access. What do I do? Oh, Beluga friend. He's gonna help us out. Like, hang on. When you're riding your back, Beluga can swim against the current. Be okay. Mm -hmm. 
Pokemon company is trying to buy your silence for a hundred thousand dollars. Oh god. Yeah, it's us hop on. In this cave you can move around the beluga. Press left control to destroy obstacles in your way. Oh, that's cool. Jellyfish. Oh, okay, not them. Oh god, you do not have much help for this. The shrimp's not gonna attack us, is it? Oh, the shrimp heals us. Generous trip, too. Every time you think Dave the Diver is not going to introduce a new gameplay mechanic, it does. Oh, jeez. Don't, don't go that close to the edge of the screen. Fuck. Very injured for a boss. This is a mommy jellyfish. Oh, that's really... I'm probably just gonna die against this. Phantom jellyfish. No, we didn't come to hunt small fish. It looks all right. I first must calm it down. Can't use a weapon in this state. I, I need that shrimp. But what do I do? Push the button. Okay, that, that's a bit annoying. Bullet hell beluga game now. Jesus. Please be three times. Because I'm probably gonna die otherwise. Thank you. Oh, there's one down there. I didn't see him. This is how this is not how jellyfish work. Have you seen a jellyfish? Didn't think so. Lucky me, it went away. Gonna get a piece of sushi. Hang on. Hang on a moment. It's gonna be another profitable night. Yeah. Must be the switch. I activate it. That's that's why we're here, Dave.
Another lock on the gate to, the gate to hell is open. I feel like the final boss is gonna be down here. Like, this is so big of a reveal and set piece. It has to be. Your big machinery operating outside. One second, gang. Oh, the cable by accident. Door's open there, maybe it leads outside. Thank you, Beluga friend. Are we just gonna leave him here? <laughs> like, yeah, we're done with you. Feel less heat than before. I can go down now. Ooh. Yeah, let's get to the bottom. Gotta get out of this winding passageway first as well. As must have known people will hate a water level and said, fuck it, we'll make the entire game a water level. I mean, the thing is, because uh, water level in an otherwise not water game really sucks. If you really embrace the premise though, it's done, it, it, it can be done really well. Like Subnautica, I think is a great example, you know? I can't think of any game where I'm like, wow, I'm glad I'm swimming right now. It's, it's just always a bit shit. I mean, uh, 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 excluding Subnautica and stuff like that, because like that's a game obviously underwater, you know? Subnautica checkmate. But, you know, uh, of course that one, uh, it makes sense. But like one where it's like you're mostly just on land. And it's like, oh, there's a water level. Cone was all water, which is not that great. It's the worst part of that, that region. It's just, it's just too much water. Unpopular opinion, but IGN is right in their skating critique of that one. It's just too much. It's just not interesting. Oh, me, you're interesting, though. Oh. Do I have any have any drones left? No, I already got all the tuna. Let's get him. Come on. He takes a while to bleed out after you get him. Let's see what else is at the bottom. Oh, no, these ancient creatures. Some release from melting glacial ice. Wonder if they these are any use to bunch over a sushi place. <laughs> Like, holy shit, like a mammoth. I wonder how it tastes in a stew. This is Dave's reaction here. Gotta capture it. Power of him up. This guy probably hasn't been around since like prehistoric times or something. Like, oh, sushi! Some of this. Buck bean. Oh, those tablet like creatures. Are they ancient species as well? What a cute bunch. Rare opportunity. Let's take a photo. Okay. 
look at these guys. Oh, they look like almost like a Pokemon or something. Hey ho, hey ho. That's so cute. Got them all. Silly little guys, yeah. The boys, if they were a water type. I, I, I wish Phalanx, uh, Phalanx was better <laughs> in Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon, but it's just... He's just not that strong. Unfortunately. Hey, Ancient Fish, how you doing? Come on, go away! Name's Alan. Give it a regional form. You, you could probably do Phalanx regional forms quite well. Just have it represent, like, different military types. That'd be cool. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, you're so weird. Sushi? Shark? I I can't tell. <laughs> I need oxygen. Okay. Uh, what can I toss aside? I still have the tunas from way earlier. Dave is hunting dinosaurs now. Nothing will stop Dave. How was this on fire? Get the ultimate shrimp probably down here. Need to activate one more device for the door to open. Let's look for a cave that might have the third switch. He's level nine. Yeah, this is gonna be the most powerful one. Probably gonna need to hop home soon. <laughs> I doubt you find a third switch, but you might scrounge up a Wii or a Nintendo 64 if you're lucky. That's such a dad joke. Get out of here. Come on. Already have one of you, so we can just get rid of the extra. Okay, I'm gonna need to leave some stuff behind at this rate. Something up here. Oxygen, there is. Oh, so I was just chilling down here. He beat us. Oh, what are you doing here? You know, all the way here is the heat under the glacier has been reduced. I can't fully trust humans like you. By the hero of the sea people who defeated the giant Gadon came here to activate the thing myself. But need you help because the inside is quite a mess now. See for yourself. Uh oh. Do I do I want to go in a new area right now when like equipment load is already over capacity? Game. Okay, that's a sign though, yeah. We gotta keep going. Anything down here? I call the cat food. Right, too.
take it home, Dan. It's like it's not where it is. Oh. Ah, I think it is. We must dive deeper. There's no water up here. It's near the roots of the vine tree. They're sucking the ground here. Excuse me, Tay, it seems to have absorbed everything, leaving the soil around it completely dry. To open the inner waterway to fill the water again. Having a contraption up there is that it's not in the water. And when you go up there and activate the contraption of my signal. Oh, Dave's actually resurfaced. Maybe you can switch between Dave and Swam. Choose the character that fits the situation to clear the path. Oh god, okay, I'm not gonna be able to go back for a while. At the very least, though, it doesn't seem to factor in weight for this. It's time for yet another new mechanic in the puzzle section. Three hearts. Come on. Dave, where have you gotta go? Pull this. Ah. Uh. How does Dave get under here? Oh, okay. <laughs> of course. Swap. Can I just crush him? <laughs> No, I don't want to find this out while I've got, like, so many valuable items on me. Oh no, Dave. It's alright. Let's Dave across. He's living on the edge after being so bored with Detective Pikachu. <laughs> go, Dave, go. Go quick. There we go. Uh, okay, so Swam so so is a bit of far away at the moment. Okay, we're good. Dave's got to turn this. So I'm get past here. There's a lever here. Checkpoint. There. It hops across. Something in here. Up, 
Okay, uh, I hope that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. Okay, that unlocks this. Dave hops back down. Dave can hop on this. Up he goes. Gotta sneak on in here. Why is it always mirror? They're, they're very proud of their mirror puzzles, okay? They worked hard on them. Feels like a Zelda shrine puzzle, it does. Okay, let me get past here. What's this do? Okay, right, so that's how you let Dave across there. Where he goes. Dave cannot proceed. Okay. The lever here. There you are. Yes, pull that lever. Is there a lever down here? I will pull this one myself. Send me a signal when you're ready, human. There we go. His little waddle. Dave, Dave's having a merry old time. There we go, the path's open. Water began to flow from the top. Good, it looked like an important device and it's filling the place with water. What about knowing what it does? I trust my gut feeling. <laughs> Dave's getting ready quickly, Dave. The water is quickly rising. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, the path is, is filled with water. It's packed with divine tree branches. Mm -hmm. so, is there something stimulating the tree? This level of growth is not normal. You need to control room to figure out what's what. Move to the inner switch, human. Follow me. At this point, you can control both Dave and Suam simultaneously. Suam has the ability to open the tube worm pad and penetrate your sea currents by using, using dash. Dave reached the destination safely. Oh god, alright, hang on. You gotta use right shift. Oh god, I'm control- okay, oh, I don't like this. I feel like I'm playing a co-op game just by myself. I understand what they're trying to do, but it's it, this feels uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, left control and right control. I need to move Swam around. It's definitely challenging, yeah, but. It just feels awkward. <laughs> there we go. It's a long puzzle sequence. Dave there, and then Dave holds it. That's me getting through here. Checkpoint. 
two chains here. Do we just reattach this? Oh, okay, I can just move it out of the way. There we go. I didn't realize I could do that. My brain does not like this. Press these. Let's give Dave the shield. Uh, okay, that's just death. Continue to hold that. Get this. Oh, Dave the Diver needs it takes two elements. Someone decided. Match my under rhythm underwater. Human time is hopeless to seem. Let's proceed through the door ahead and flip the switch. Did it. God. Well, it was game of the year, true. Oh. Oh my god. Holy shit, look at him. Look at it, its snout, it's crazy. Gary, I haven't even seen it before in the Ancient Creature Codex. It's called... Helicoprian? Oh, I'm... Helicoprian, if my memory is correct. Okay. Went extinct 200 million years ago. It was been trapped in ice and has now been released as the ice melts in the region. Oh, he's so scary looking. Oh god. He's got a saw. <laughs> we unspotted. What should we do, Swab? 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 <laughs> Human displays look strategically important. As an ancient deep sea creature, one sense bright light. We'll hit the divine fr tree fruit here to blind it and you lure the creature. The only reason attack all you do is hide, it seems. Solid looks extremely dangerous. I should either hide somewhere or use the vine tree fruit as Suam suggested. Right, I'm, I'm going to need to lose some weight real quick. Uh, just get, get rid of one of these. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Wait, buddy!
I have to shoot the divine tree for it, is it? You sure? Oh my god, I still control so um Oh that that broke the game about <laughs> Alright, well, my, my current problem and dilemma, if you will, is that I don't have much oxygen left. Please be air. There is. Oh yeah, I can do it. Get him, Dave. Beat him up. After that, I just wait for him to make uh, his journey. <laughs> Anything in here that can help? Oh, that might be handy. I'll do more damage. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on over. Question, was this a real shark with a buzzsaw? <laughs> oh, he, he did not have much help. Sorry, I was just healing something. I was Where's my strategical brain and prowess victory? I'd say so. And the monster's gonna be nice as the door. Let's go in, human. Surprisingly, yes, this is a real prehistoric shark. That's wild. Oh, wait, I'm gonna get a twofer for shark meat today. Oh, we're gonna have a lot to cook. Here's a saw blade. Oh, we're gonna be eating good tonight. The last switch. I didn't know in the second room. Help me, Swap. Can't do anything about me, human. How their jaws work. Push, Dave. Push. We've now unlocked the gates to hell. Spinning is a game mechanic. Okay, so it didn't rotate them. I can see that. Actual buzzsaw shark. It was great down in the lumber mill. To activate the last switch, the door to the control room should be open now. Let's get out through the exit to see what's going on outside. Hey, we did it, Swamp. Check the situation outside. He's really not nice to us, is he? <laughs> Just claims credit for everything. Glacial area. Um, do I go to the control room already, or do I go back? <laughs> because I've got I've got a lot of weight. Please go home first. 
For the love of God, go back. <laughs> please, please go back. Okay, all right. I've never seen chat this desperate for me to do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Some say that the dwarves uh, quit just before they hit the goal. We're digging deep. Oh. Excuse me. Hello, friend. Uh, what's, what's one more shark, though? Okay, I got, I tapped out. Can't help myself. Oh, I'm so stupid. Thank God. He's poisoned. Never punish. Uh, let me just make some room. <sighs> just another day for Dave. Help myself. You know, I changed my mind. Let's no. That's that's not. Make our way home. Dave is so tired. He just wants to cook sushi. Send him back to the boat. Dad, we miss you. Come back home with the milk and sushi. Uh, keep that there. Oh yeah, we got we got an ancient uh, species for Udo. <laughs> I just take this picture. Where in the world could you take this kind of picture? Mm. Or you may think that we're using fake pictures. If so, it's all on you, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we still have a second dive today. <laughs> it's only the afternoon. Not tuna night tonight, is it? No. It's gonna be our most profitable night again. Most profitable night yet. Cannot wait. Um, and with this dive, if I uh, shop... Oh no, he doesn't have any more. Okay, I'm gonna leave the tuna for now then. If he doesn't have any more. Okay, let's go down to the glacial area. This will be the first and only time you can ever eat the extinct for 200 million years shark sushi. It, I, that's gotta be worth some. That's thing, that has to sell for a high price. Okay, we gotta dive all the way down. Not today, Mr. Narrow. So violent. I don't think that's gonna help us. Might as well get this as we're going down. Who leaves black vinegar 500 meters in the ocean? <laughs> I'm just gonna save this for later. That's the, that's the secret one. Oh! Oh, we don't get the tuna! That means we can abduct this guy! If... If he cooperates. Come on! Take him away! <laughs> he has been packaged. 
to the surface. We must dive deeper. It's struggling somewhat. The door is stuck by the divine tree roots growing from inside. Oh no! He's back! I knew you'd be found here! How'd you even get down here? What path did you take? John Watson, how did you follow me here? Made of equal friendly materials and titanium. There's no place the Deccan 9 cannot reach. I saw a passage in a strange village, so I just broke through it. Don't mind destroying this beautiful primordial place, do you? I can't believe this! You are a germ in this world! I'm about to sterilize you! What a hypocrite, I know what your sea blue did in secret. <clears throat> that was you. That's why the description of the suspect perfectly matches you. It's only very curious how it was portrayed in the description. Or he's like, I can't let you go free. I, John Watson, of sea blue, the guardians of the sea, will rid the sea of impurity. He's back. Of the nations, we must finish our business with this one. How do we fight a submarine? Oh, I see it, okay. No. No. <laughs> I'm trying to get him with his own missiles, but I don't think I can. What do I do? <laughs> he's, he's destroying me this time. I was trying to get air. You are running like a rat. You can't evade this one. The Kirisabe of death. Oh god, he, he's... <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is significantly worse. Chronosaurus. Oh, Dave's in real danger now. Age, what's this? An ancient creature of the Plesiosaurus family? Unbelievable monster of that size hidden in the deep sea glacier. Why such a monster be ridiculous, but it's recently come out of the ice. It may still be sluggish and weak. And I wonder what kind of sushi I'm going to be able to make. There's no way we can get to the control room without confronting it. And then missile launcher came off of John Watson's sub. Hang on, I... I'm gonna need some oxygen! Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn! Oh, 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 my Jesus! <laughs> That's enough to work with. Oh, <laughs> no! Okay. <laughs> I'm missing something here. How does this work? Okay, it, ju it just takes a while to charge. Get away from me! I can just shoot him. I'm gonna have to start over. If he gets here, you're pretty much dead. Why didn't that shoot? Ooh. It glitches out after you use it. Dave, Dave might be in a lot of trouble this time. Oh god, the game is breaking as well. <laughs> what was that? Why 
has it got fire? What? Ugh. Can you guys see the game glitching out on stream? It's not just me, is it? No, you can't. Okay, so occasionally the game is actually completely freezing. And I'm getting like weird red scan lines everywhere. And I can't move. And this boss is breaking it more than any other. Carry that. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, he's so hard to dodge. He's just so big. You can't dash while you got this. <laughs> A horrible start. Take that, buck bucko. Why doesn't it fire sometimes? Make him charge. Go down. Yeah, he still hit me with that. <laughs> Get him, Dave. Um, I'm just dead. There's no way I can get out of the way in time. <laughs> God, he's so strong. I'm surprised there's not more oxygen. There's only one. Come on. God.
Christ. What do I do? What do I do? Go back and get the gun. This is horrible. Hope that I get enough. Ah, okay. Get the launcher one final shot. Take it, Dave. Take it. Take the shot. <laughs> Thank God. Christ, that was rough. A nightmare of one of those monsters reaches land. I wonder what kind of sushi it makes. Okay. Gotta hurry to the Divine Tree Control Room and restore the device. I got it. No, I gotta get out of here. I just gotta go home. Okay. What is this drone? Dr. Bacon, I was making an explorer drone to aid you in, as the glacial area looks dangerous and it has just, it has just been completed. <laughs> You tried, Dr. Bacon. Try and enjoy my lad. This drone not only communicates, but also has many activities underwater. All thanks to Duff here. It's good to see you, Dave. Such a large glacial ice in this depth. It's as if it was touched by Gabriella and her cold fingers. Only if I could soothe her loneliness. Come, anyways, looks like the roots are blocking the door. The drone can cut the roots using a laser cutter. Isn't that handy? Ha! I foresaw your hardship and added the feature. Ha, lucky. I wanted to activate the laser cutter. Thank you, Duff. He's here to help. The vine tree is extremely hard and like ordinary trees. It would take two days to get it done. Oh, okay, so the game's like, here, just go have fun a while now. You're, you're just done for the time being. We're having a hell of a sushi night with all this, let me tell you. I I actually need to just focus on getting out, I think. I think I think I just go home. I can find oxygen. Gotta be something. Yeah, it's right there. It's fine. There we go. Stock up again. Go home, dude. Okay, now we can get more priceless artifacts. And we got we gotta make the most of the trip still, you know? Go home and sit down. The sharks will be here tomorrow. <laughs> but what if I got more? What? What is this? That's just how it works. Is the like electric tip? Okay. We need more shark meat. We do. They should be down here, yeah. I think I still even have a drone to, like, kidnap one. Where's the sharks? 
We shall ruin the ocean, John Watson can suck. I think John Watson's straight up dead this time. I don't think he lived. <laughs> Don't think he's coming back. John Watson never dies. Okay, okay, bud. There's a lot of fighting you. You're not a shark. Get some tuna for the event. I could go all the way back for tuna. Oh god. Get away from me. You know, I could just get this ha happy fun. No, I'll get the tuna. I'll get tuna. I'll go all the way back up to the top of the ocean. Get the drone for like his dead body. <laughs> you don't want to carve it up. In this way, you can always get more shark meat, but if you die here, you lose that one time only boss meat. I'm not gonna lose it. I know what I'm doing. It's Dave, Dave the diver, we're talking about, right? Powerful man. You've got to trust Dave. But there doesn't seem to be any sharks here, so we're going to have to go back up a bit. <laughs> They're all gone. We'll go get the tuna. Go go to see people. And then swim up. Dave the Devourer. <laughs> Please go to the boat. No, I won't. I'm staying. I'm, st I'm staying down here. It's gonna be fine. You're all panicking for nothing. It'll be fine. Live a little. Live a little. What? Have an adventure. Seize the day, you know? Carp DM. Just enjoy yourself. Have fun. Don't I? Don't get eaten by the sharks. Dance more fish than human at this point. I got I got I got a long way to swim for this tuna, by the way. It's a long way back up. Gotta find the way back out. But we need that tuna. What are the odds that Dan gets lost on his way up? Oh. Oh, that's surprisingly powerful. And yeah, we don't need them anymore. At least there's no crab squids. Thank God. I'm only going to be able to play this game with the crab squids. They were too much for me. I think we can still get this shark. I think he's still worth something. Yep. 
pick him up. So many, so many sharks spared you've changed. <laughs> this isn't the shark killing related content I wanted. Not my streamer. Is there a way? No, it's not. 7 out of 10, not enough shark death. That review score goes down for, like, every shark spare, too. Gotta be really careful. At this rate, the shark population might increase again. What are you thinking? <laughs> Like, you monster. There's gonna be more of them. How the fuck do I get out? Here? No, it's all dead ends. I'm gonna have to go back down. Hope there's a way up through here. Passed it twice. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to find my way out, guys. I'm just not very good at it. Even the game's like, you sure you want to get all the way to the top? There's an easier way. I want my tuna. Wait, I don't even have the fucking stun bomb for the tuna. I'm only gonna be able to get like one. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, just just go up, just go up. I'm I'm not even gonna be able to get that much. It would be faster. We got some shark. I, I really got to remember to drop that off. It's going to be good eating tonight. Day has been wasted. <laughs> it's fine. Rank up. I don't think it's even worth checking that too much. It's going to be so long until we get that again. And Narwhal needs to die for this one. What do I want my rubies for? <laughs> Just taking them away. Okay, most profitable night by far. We have three kinds of boss sushi to prepare. We killed an actual dinosaur. Wang Peng, the master chef. Hello everyone, this is Yui from the NDC station. They present a new program called Challenge the Chef featuring Vincent Yamaoka. It's been a long time everyone, I'm Vincent Yamaoka. Champion of the last season was Poncho, who was praised by Vincent. He'll be, defend he be the defending champion today. This season's first challenger is... Is it Wang Pang? Is that how you pronounce it? It's just Wang Pang. Wang Pang? I'm making sure, trying to make sure I get it slightly right. My honor to be here, I'm Wang Pong from Hong Kong. How are you meeting Wang Pong? Alright, we met the contestants, now let's begin the show. You will compete with dishes on the same day at the same place on a given theme. It's Niyamaoku will judge your dishes. Chinese cuisine is the theme. As you know, Chinese cuisine developed many different cooking styles in its long history. Talk about Chinese cuisine, many you think it was stir-fried meat and vegetables. That's not all, there's more than that. This time you two will compete with the dish, be dish use and fish. What's a, what's a Chinese shark? Heard of you and your reputation, Bancho, but I would beat you with a fabulous recipe from Hong Kong. Hong Kong just issued an official challenge. This should be interesting. For the rules, folks, we will come back in two days to broadcast the intense competition. Okay. 
Shark fin soup actually, is it? Okay. Okay, you're not familiar with Chinese cuisine, are you? I'm gonna be Chinese to compete with him. He's a Chinese culinary style. I have a fish that I've never tasted before. Got to teach my lesson with ordinary dish. Bring me the ingredients I want in two days. I need stargazers, wheat, olive oil, and eggs. Oh shit, okay. Um, we need to grow wheat and get eggs from the chickens. So eggs is done. I need to grow wheat. I need to grow wheat in time. Okay, and then training. Need our A game tonight. All this. Oh my god, look how much this sells for. It, it, it's almost a grand dish. We're gonna be rich. And we have so much. Yeah, give me one second, gang. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna quickly use the loot, okay? Before we, uh, have our most profitable night yet. I'll be, be right back just two minutes, okay? Oh, hello. How y'all doing? This chat separation anxiety is through the roof. Yeah, it's 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 pretty bad. We have established that chat has object permanence, so well permanence. So you know, if something's just gone, it's like. Ugh. Quite alarming. I was so worried. Guest speaker on the Mareep stream. <laughs> so, yo, who's this guy? Okay. Let's uh, let's keep going a while longer. See if we can finish the game today. I feel like in two days that's gonna be it. 710. 
724. Oh, it's worth so much. And all of those are 10 servants, too. The menu for tonight is simply, like, the rarest things that we've got. There's no way to even enhance it. So, like, one of these... Uh, one of these, please. Wait a minute, do I not have enough for all three? Oh no! Oh, disaster has struck. I do not have a basic plant. I'll have to say that for another night. I can't undo it now because I've already put it on the menu. Oh, that that is awful. At least we can enhance this. I feel like that gets brighter every time. That's some shark. It's so bright. I can use all of it to like perfect the dish. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Enhance the tuna. Enhance the tuna. Oh, I'm not going to be able to make much of the tuna dishes if I'm not careful. I, I need, like, mayo and sesame seeds. I've, got, I've gotten no mayo. That's going to be a problem. That's what I can of the tuna. Dispatch someone. Yeah, I, I probably should. Uh... How do I manage all? How do I how do I do that again? It's been a while. Was it under farm now? No, I diver management. In the waiting room. How, how do I how do I send her out? Oh, there it is, yeah. Uh, dispatch. We, we desperately need mail. Yeah, she's on her way. We could probably hire more staff just to collect mail. Okay, no, she's gone. If we got more staff, it's like, your job is to acquire mayonnaise. Can we do that? Oh, you know, we're gonna- we're gonna ha get mayo soon. We're gonna have eggs. Surely. Oh, can you not do that? No, we need the eggs. Okay, alright, we <laughs> We need mayonnaise staff. Sign them on. <laughs> Go get the mail. There we go. They've all left for mail. You're hired now. Go to the shops. This is an important job. Okay, we need to keep an eye on the best sellers, and then we need to just add more to the menu once it starts going down. Let's open up. We have 20 bits of sushi to sell first. Get cooking, gang.
Get him served. Oh my god, it's selling so quick. Okay, okay, menu, menu. We need to put this on. Just Greenland Shark Knight. There we go. Final dishes are being served of these rare... Possible to find creatures. Keep serving them up. Keep serving them up. Oh, look at that! The number gets higher. 25 grand. So much. This is what our investors like to see. Imagine how much higher that would have been if we had the other special one. I'm gutted we didn't have it. Still amazing though. Tomorrow's two in a day, yeah it is. Shareholders will be pleased, they will. It's party day today, bread the right ingredients and make a fortune. Okay, I need to go to the shop. Dahl decoy, emergency pager. That's cute, but I don't think I need that. Okay, we have that bot. Uh, we need to feed the cat. Big day. I need to plant wheat. Yep. High quality cat food. Oh, she's getting all the love and support he needs. Uh, when will the staff return with the mayo? It will return on D-Day, okay. Don't do it. What do you think? Neat, right? An egg. Behold. Okay, uh, so what do I need? I need wheat. Was it just wheat? I can just buy some. I'll buy I'll buy one just in case. And then I'll get three wheat seeds. And we'll get some more um, get some more carrots planet. The veggie sushi. Let's load all this up. It's gonna take a while to do each day. I have eggs tomorrow too. Buy everything you can. <laughs> like clear them out. <laughs> take your entire stock. Oh, actually, speaking of stock, hang on. I've been eyeing this for a while. I can upgrade the salvage drone, too. Twelve grand on this. It's max level. Okay, that's as good as it gets.
And we spent all our money on that drone. <laughs> like that, his money was gone. I mean, I think we have some money like invested in the fish bank at the moment. We just need to clean these guys up at some point. Like, I, I mean, they're they're just everywhere. There's like too many in the tanks. What what's all this doing here? I don't think there's any sharks available for that one, so we might as well just let him exist. All of these. Okay, just leave it for now. Go back to the boat. I need to get tuna. Lots of tuna for tuna today. Schedule is the party. The farming report is available. It's growing. It's all growing. We obtained an egg. Good report. Oh, movie news a giant crocodile in the sewer. The weather's getting a bit chilly. How about a creepy horror movie? What if a giant mutant crocodile appeared in the sewer? Experienced realistic horror on the big screen. Oh, produced by Michael Bang. This is a new production. The do is absolutely clear for the time being. The IP is tomorrow. Okay, um, I just need to get tuna then. That's it for today, isn't it? I think so? Seeing. And agar. Oh, where do I get the, the agar? Agar. Where do I catch that? That's, that's just like, yeah, that's just in the shallows. Kind of bad that I, uh, I don't have any of that. We're gonna make a very, like, should we just make a short trip? It's gonna be so far to dive. I think we do short trips for once. It's gonna be so far to go. Uses poison resistance. You can finally use this for just gun damage. There's red seaweed everywhere. Okay, let me stock up. Castle plant in the sea people village. I do need to get back down there. Drawing thanks for a thousand bits. Howdy, since you have any issues running the game earlier, I thought you might like to know that the game received an update literally today. It includes overall performance enhancement and decreases the damage of treasure sharks. Oh shit, they nerfed the really strong one. Oh, that's kind of funny. Get the yellow tuna. They've been nerfed. That's really it. They just draw, just drawn them away. Get them out of here. We're gonna use all our drones just getting these guys. <laughs> okay, job done. <laughs> Probably call it a day there. And uh, that was the deeper tuna, I think I think it was the elephant. Diego. I want to get them, but they're, they're going to take forever to beat down, aren't they? Yeah, 
You know I use the trap. I don't have a drone to collect them. So I'm just gonna have to, like, beat him up. Uh, it, this is just mean. <laughs> Get him carved. Okay, we just have we just have one more friend to get. Come here, bud. This one wants to live. <laughs> it's cruel and unusual. It is. I think we try and catch it, like take him in alive with the, with the net. It's like, nah, I'll just beat him up and out. He's f swimming further away. He knows. Come on. I can't really use a knife because they swim too quick. There we go. Keep carving. Oh, God. Do I even need this guy anymore? I don't know. Probably don't anymore. Where's the agar? Oh, okay. All, all right. Red plants. I'm not seeing any of them. This guy, this guy is at, is pissed with us. I'm not seeing any that you can actually harvest. In the name of Steve Irvin, I—that is absolutely not what Steve Irvin would want. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, thank God, Mayo. I got you now. Gotta beat him up a bit. Come on. Put him in an unpopular zoo. <laughs> like an acceptable compromise. Really, they're doing the number on us. Agar, there's no agar there. It's, it's a red one. Can't pick any of these. It's one. Unlike RT, Steve Irwin actually likes the environment. Unlike <laughs> this guy, as he's like shooting a tuna. <laughs> oh god! Important distinction: it is a game. <laughs> he only knows murder. <laughs> that 
guy just turned away. He, he just knew. Yeah, that's another one. Okay, the tuna has been collected. We should be ready for tonight now with all this. Yeah, that's that's not egg. That's, that's just seaweed, I think. Yeah. Is there more tuna? Oh. Oh, we haven't seen you in a while. That's the family of the hump humpback whale I met earlier. I take a picture. Come and go. It's gonna be a bit hard to get him in the shop. Apparently, this is the ideal picture. That was cute. Got any Hager? <laughs> Still missing it. Some above you. Thank you. You can make that dish now. We're always missing the most basic materials in the game. Is there any more tuna? I think more will spawn. I think we're going too far down if we start going down there. Thank you. He's just patrolling there. Okay, should we just hop back with a hundred kilo of tuna? I think that's pretty good. Get a few more supplies. I'm kind of curious as to what like the, the it's gonna happen when the gate opens. So I, it's like for the first time I actually kind of want time to progress a little faster because I want to see what's gonna happen. No, we need more agar. It's <laughs> getting whatever supplies I can just find lying about. Actually doing collection quests. Look at this. Okay, alright. You are so strong. Here's some. Oh, can this guy get out of the fucking way? Straight eel. Here we go. Shark for good measure. Defeat the shark before they nerf him. <laughs> So apparently in today's patch, they've made him weaker. Because he was giving people too much trouble. So we are we are pre-patch. We're real gamers. No bad that one or not. Okay, let's let's leave let's leave it with that. I'm gonna make some shorter dives uh, today. Just picking up a few bits from the ocean. Oh my god, he's collecting stuff from the ground. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Hey, 
Yeah, here's a picture of the whales. <laughs> Give me money. <laughs> the crops are all grown. Let's go take a quick look. I don't think I'm gonna be able to buy more sensor bombs, so it's gonna take a little longer to get the tuna now. You can get three more. Veggie sushi is gonna be ready. Why is this one not fully grown? Okay, don't question it. Uh, shop, just give us five eggplants. Grab those. Oh, you can name the chickens, that's cute. Talk to you? He's just talking about making songs. Name the chicken shark, then cook and serve as Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's totally a shark, don't worry. We serve like a dinosaur the other day, and these guys are practically descended from them, you know? Uh, same difference. Okay, uh, let's get- let's get a couple of tunas. See what else we can just pick up off the floor. I haven't gotten seahorse and race seahorse race in a long time. I feel like the game made out to be a bigger mechanic than it actually was. Another little silly side adventure for Dave. Please gamble. <laughs> That shark? Might have been. He, he rapidly took off. Oh, it's a tuna. There they are. Okay. That's not gonna help us too much. All right, I gotta, I gotta take him down. Seems like it's gonna be a painful experience today. Okay, that's one. Take him away. No, don't, don't, don't shoot him again. <laughs> then abduct it. Bomb's completely forgotten that the point of this game is purely killing and eating sharks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, gonna need more ammo. Yeah, sometimes you shoot, shoot and eat tuna instead. Variety, if you will. Stockpile Agar every time I see it now. Just because of that one experience. Uh. Good enough. And send you home. Okay, tuna acquired. I'm gonna need to make sure I get all the tuna out of the tanks too and just like serve, send them off to the kitchen. Oh, perfect. There's loads here. Get one in the drone. 
Don't waste all my ammo here. They're really doing a number on poor Dave. It's gonna be injured every time. They're just crashing headlong into them. Oh, now you're scared. That's the only streamer to be wanted globally for crime. Or video game crimes. Come on. Okay, they, they just don't want to come. I need more ammo. There's like some more bullets down here. Maybe John Watson was right. Oh, there's even more tuna down here. You stay away. Never thought I'd say that to a shark. You are not our fight today. Thanks. Send him home. Yeah, the rest, rest we just gotta beat up. Keep taking pot shots. There we go, that's another one. Oh, yeah, that was that was a terrible shot. Okay, maybe I can get him with this. Bonk. A tuna get. This this should be enough for the party. Wasn't there a politician who wanted to punish people for war crimes in video games? Was there? I mean, it, it does come up every now and then, it was like, the games are making our kids violent. Um, which has already been scientifically proven to not be true multiple times across various studies. This guy's gonna die if he sees the Hitman streams. Oh yeah, I forgot, I already like peppered these guys down a bit. <laughs> I, got, I got a car of them before they despawn. <laughs> oh, we got a hell of a haul this time. Dan is an outlier and is equally violent in video games and in real life. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 the TwitchCon meet and greet, I, I'm just gonna have like a plate of blueberry muffins and everyone who comes up, I'm just going to like actually deck them with a muffin. It's like, wow, I can't believe I got attacked by RT. That's the experience I want. Well, like, I'll lock you in an actual freezer. <laughs> you will be trapped. <laughs>
Oh, look at the, like, mega yacht that's here for the tuna. Oh my god. Bonus mayo acquired. Redispatch. Gotta get the crops. They really want that tuna. They're having, like, a tuna rave. The crops are all grown. Would you look at that? Carrot. Oh, these ones just died, apparently. Stock up on them a bit. Yeah, I need to go to the fish farm tonight. Uh, because we need to get rid of our tuna supply. Is there only one in here? Oh, it's down to the kitchen. I thought we got more than that. Oh, no, we got a baby one. We got some babies today. Damn, they're only gonna grow up after the event now. Density is 110% in this one. Okay, let me, uh... Let me make some space there. I don't think there's, there's too many in that tank. There's too many in there. I can expand it. We'll make more room. Five tuna have just been d delivered. Perfect. It's tuna day. Uh, we'll hold off a mo on these recipes. Pumphead parrotfish curry. So many delicacies. There's no sharks in any of these. Disappointing. Okay, we must improve the quality. I can make the veggie one 600. It's it's the most valuable recipe in the game. It's 600. It's so easy to get to. Oh, this is the really bright one. I'm just gonna skip that. <laughs> okay, that one's a bit intense. Uh, this one I can up to. Well, we're gonna run low on mayo. It's the only thing if I do this. Uh, so I think... Ah, we do it anyway. Just do it. Hence. Too bright for the old man's eyes. It's not because I'm old. It's just kind of bright. <laughs> I forgot to enhance this one. That's suddenly worth 300. Oh my god, I, I never enhanced any of the yellowfish ones. Enhance, just enhance it all the way up. Keep going. Just... Bancho is just like tearing through pounds upon pounds of tuna right now. I gotta get it ready. Like, I think we have enough. <laughs> There's so much here to work with. We can make this one as well later. So we don't make this tonight though. Because we need to focus on the good tuna. This one feeds six for one. So I can put this on the menu. Auto supply that. And 
this one. Let's auto supply that as a backup. Perfect. So we just go through all that first and then we see how we're doing. That should be 12 and then like that, that's 28 meals. I don't know how many we can sell in one night. But it is two in a gang. I think they're gonna like this a lot. Put more in. <laughs> yeah, I'll put, I'll put, I'll put another one. There we go. That's good for now. We want less dishes to start. One tuna makes three dishes. Wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, this one, this one's like six. This may not be our most profitable night, but it'll still be a profitable night. Tuna Gang is here. Salivating. Gang is desperate. Keep it coming. Oh no, I was a bad one to take. <laughs> keep serving them, gang. Keep serving them. I'm actually, I actually think I'm losing a few customers. I can't get them fast enough. Run, Dave. There's too many orders. Oh, I didn't mean to take that one. We need wasabi. Let's go, gang, go. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was a bit of a mess of a night. Somehow, we've still over like $24,000. I do not know how we got that. Was this our most profitable night? It actually might have been. I think they tipped so much. Holy shit, it is. Just barely. I am shocked we actually got that. It's a lot of tuna. I still have like shitloads of tuna left over too, yeah. <laughs> we'll just put it away for like the next party. It's D-Day for him. Crops are all grown. Uh, do I still have to wait another day? Before I can go to the, the laser cutter? Or is that today? You need to wait another day. Okay. Harvested eggs. God, my crops are not doing too well. Wheat. Let's check for the memes. I probably will. You get fertilizer to heal them. I probably should be doing that, shouldn't I? I'm making, an, I'm making enough as is, aren't I? I am. We can invest in it next time around. Do I need more chick- Is there a limit on the amount of chickens I can get? I just keep buying these. It's five of each. Okay. Yeah, so they're all purchased. I think I want to finally upgrade the harpoon gun. Get that to max. There we go. 
air tank, I'm not too worried about that, but considering that we're gearing up for what seems to be a lot of endgame shit, we probably should. We'll just get some chickens now. There we go, chicken gang. That's all my money gone. <laughs> Let's feed the cat. Let's see if we get any more cat story. Thirty dollars to my name. I'm not even I'm not even gonna be able to buy the net or anything, am I? Too exhausted, everything. We must constantly reinvest. sell ingredients. Well, I mean, I don't really need immediate money. I think we're alright. Crime report is available. Uh, okay. We're just gonna go glacial area shark trip, I guess. Actually, we'll check out the sea people first, because we have a farm there, too. Make sure that's uh, going. Seaweed seeds available. Please. I've got no money left in like bolt currencies. They've spent it all. Gamble the thirty dollars. Trust me. Ah, oh, you can actually see on the farms already. It shows up. Seaweed farm. all that. Uh, put a bit of everything in. You can only lose $30, but you could gain 300 million. <laughs> Cat Gamer, thank you for the $10. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I hope you're having fun streaming. Oh yeah, let me drop off that seahorse. Keep forgetting. It's the one over here. I can't tell if Dan has an ungodly memory or if we just save him. Honestly, I'm glad I stream a lot of these games because I forget things as I go. And it's just kind of nice having like helpful reminders from chat and shit. Sometimes. Like when I'm asking or looking for something. That's the seahorse. Register. Ah, uh, okay, look at this guy. <laughs> like the rest are like so shit in comparison. Race. I'm ready. He's gonna destroy the competition. <laughs> they don't even stand a chance. Like, look at that. He's going 88 miles an hour. Give me that cash. Combined, let's uh, let's enter our boy. Oh, he does get more tired each time you use him. I forgot about that. God, I love free money. <laughs> there we go. 
She did it, babe. To recover a while after a bit of rest. I think so? The only one left is the S rank. I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to enter him. Yeah, he's he's kinda tired. This guy's like full of some energy, but nah, let's just let's just wait. Usain Bolt competing at the ten year old's egg and spoon rings. Look at these amateurs. It's like he's running past like little Timmy. <laughs> oh god. Today I learned that horse race gambling always makes money. It's true. You cannot lose. That's how it works. It's not gambling if you're guaranteed to win. If little Timmy wanted to be a professional runner, he should have started training sooner. Exactly. It's, uh, it's on little Timmy for being so naive to think he had a chance of winning. Oh. <laughs> Send him home. Appar oh, apparently that was a mission. Bring a narrow wall to the surface. We got him. He's been taken. Get the other shark that's down. I think there's only like two sharks in this area. There's not many. I mean, this this is a big one. Take him home. I think it's only gonna be like one more shark in this area. There he goes. There is one you missed, is there? Got him? No, we got him already. This guy's still working away. Thermal area has a big one. This area on the left, do you mean? Is it? Oh, oh, you're really mean looking. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus, you're scary. Set him to sleep. Oh no, disaster. His face is immune. Really bad. Set send him on home. He's been taken. Goodbye. <laughs> A Dunkleostus. Okay. This guy, apparently, we can just get him with this. It's gonna take a while. Come on. Once again, time for cruel and unusual torture. I have him up. I can see what's in here. Might as well. Come on.
It just seems so mean because you gotta like keep a harpoon in them. Like just repeatedly. It's very cruel. Come on, get out of there. Pick him up. Manta Ray is a, a, such a heavy sleeper to sleep through all the harpoon shots. He really is. You really gotta work for capturing them. Oh, this one's just a shrimp. Isn't he? He is. It's new. The EPA would like to have a word about your methods, Dan. Kavi Stingray, their shark adjacent. No, we're, we're only going for the sharks. Mostly. <laughs> going for the sharks and any anything you can just stick your knife into and carve up. That's the cuisine we prize ourselves on. Big, we can kill it. Our vegetables a shark. Well, they should be. They're more profitable than the sharks. That veggie sushi is now 600 a plate. Is the most valuable dish we can regularly make. Get this dude. I've been abducted. Veggies shark flavored. It's still not vegetarian because we have like a shark sauce that we coat them all in. That's what we can say. Come on! What does shark sauce even taste like? I, I, I have no idea. People are saying that shark does not taste that good. I don't know how people know this. To be honest. I don't think it's something I would ever be able to eat myself. Sharks exist IRL, Dad. No, I, I know that. <laughs> I'm just talking about eating one IRL. I know that bit. <laughs> you don't need to explain that part. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, they, they, they would just invent it. Like, you know, Jaws is just a movie, guys. Come on now. You have to understand. Come on. <laughs> Uh, Panic, thank you for the 2,000 bits. Uh, thank you very much. On November 20th, 2020, 12 minutes and 45 seconds into the stream, I asked what the best sandwich was. You said olive oil on bread. I want to follow up and ask what the best sandwich side is. Also, is the P.O. Box refrigerated? Uh, it is not refrigerated. I don't think I said olive oil on bread. That doesn't sound like me. That's not a sandwich. <laughs> I'd be surprised. Tan is so quirky. Whoa! Oh, oh. You 
absolutely would say that. I don't think I did. It did happen. A gravity launcher, excuse me? Oh my god. Is that, is that Thor's hammer as well and just the ice? I just saw that. Go get him. I get that. Pick him up. Can I get the hammer? Fun fact, shags don't actually require any preparation. You can eat them right away. <laughs> I just chow down, you know? How much an achievement if you can pick it up? Oh, you get it, you can actually free it. <laughs> Dave is wordy. Kill a shark with it. I, I gotta, I gotta see where there's one. Let's have a look around. Dave the Sea God. He's replaced Poseidon. Of course, it must be a uh, Lysodelphus Peroni. Okay. They're pack animals, that one's swimming alone. Just hanging out. Dolphin friend. Yeah. Disappear behind the iceberg. Uh. There are more of them behind the icebergs. Cool, Dom's always a sight to see. Oh, look at all them. Oh, there they go. <laughs> let me let me try that again. There we go, that's better. Oh, they're really cute. Deep sea dolphin. Smite them. Throw the hammer, Dave. No. We wouldn't ever. Do I need any of these? I do want to see if there's like a shark or something I could I could try it the hammer on. Hush there. I've not seen. I, I think I've already gotten all the sharks in this area. You think more will spawn? I'm, I'm really not seeing them. We might have to go back. I think we have to go back, yeah. Exhausted them here. Go down. I, the, I, that's just the bottom. There's nothing more there. Can't go too much further down. You get an unsuspecting school of fish.
It's not quite the same power. They get an achievement for that, though. Okay, you know, I think we just head on back. It's smaller halls at the moment, but that's okay. We're just waiting for time to pass. David's just making sure those sharks are extinct. <laughs> Don't worry. I don't think uh, Duff has a recipe for a galaxy gun. We found more sharks. But dolphins even. Crops have all grown. They're growing really fucking fast. Gonna have one more day of profits with the sushi restaurant, and then we're gonna see what's at the bottom of the ocean. This might be it, then. Feels like it. God, there's so many chickens. Keep it clean. That, that soil is getting real bad over there. Uh... You got anything for me? Increases the yield. Try one. Oh, but this is only gonna be on. Oh no, it's on everything. So there's no nutrients. Ah, uh, but it'll be a bountiful harvest. God. I dug through the stream archive and if there was a November 20th, 2020 stream, it was either unlisted or never uploaded, so there's no proof of the olive oil sandwich. <laughs> Some impressive research there and fact checking. Very well, thank you for 300 bits as well. Hope you, hi Dan, hope your day's going well. Recently I entered a pun contest and submitted 10 puns to the judges, hoping one would win. Unfortunately, no pun in 10 did. I'm really sorry to hear that. No, that, that. That must be devastating. Ban that guy! <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> don't. Okay, one more shark trip. Whole competition was a joke. Mods crushes skull. The more like creative and unusual uh, mod instruction there. Hey mods, literally kill that guy. Let's, let's abduct him in an arrow. The free, no one's watching. Odds boil his eyeballs. Oh Jesus. Okay, let's get the um the regular Greenland shark and the new shark. So th there is only like three big spawns it seems in this area. At a time. Oh god! <laughs> Brony boys here. Uh, I just need to get the other shark, but I also just need some more ammo. For that. That pile of rocks over there just moved. Oh, there's something here. Oh, little guy. Oh, to see, look, I know this from Animal Crossing. You're an absolute bastard to find. <laughs> I 
I got him. I think he's just left. He come back. Okay. I should have I should have accepted the picture I had. He's a bastard in this game too. Dr. Bacon will give us a call soon. Yeah, let's, let's just abduct another shark and we can call it a day. I don't need that, but I do want it. Hey, how's it going? Ooh. Come on. Let's take him home. He has been acquired. <laughs> Uncle has left the nest. Mod, spin him around like a hot dog and boil them on oil. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, a rare additional shark has appeared. Don't die, Dave. Yeah, i Shoot him down entirely. <laughs> oh god. Mod, sit that guy down, force him to play the entirety of Detective Pikachu Returns. People have been telling me that like, the first one is actually better. But I'm I'm probably never going to experience it. Just I I I I cannot bring myself to do it. I watched uh, Vine Sauce's like corrupted version of it, which was very funny. Uh, Julia, thank you for a thousand bits. That's what donating 2,000 bits gets you in this channel. Debt threats from mods. Exactly what we're here for. <laughs> what does half of that amount give you? Uh, that'll just be threats for serious injury and not quite debt. Mild insults. Look at all these fish we got. Okay, uh, continue retrieving mayo. That is your purpose in life now. Mod slightly inconvenienced that person. <laughs> oh, we have so much rice now. Yeah, that's everything for now. Just leave the chickens to it. Uh, fish. I need to carve up some shark, I think. Uh, you are absolutely being sold. I, I still have all these extra tuna now. I have so many of these. <laughs> S send some to the kitchen. Getting out of hand in that tank. Mega Mount Shark. Oh, there's a new one.
There's so much stuff in here. Capacity is too high. Start send clearing stuff out. Send it to the kitchen. I need room for more shark. There we go. Yeah, and that should be good. Okay. Well, I feel like we have a chance of getting the most profitable night yet, Kang. I know I say this quite often. <laughs> Got a showdown first. Yui from NDC. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, today is the day of the showdown in Challenge the Chef. Bancho, are you ready? And Wang Pang, the same. I can't wait. Let's begin Challenge the Chef now. Oh, here we go. It's a showdown. For the Horde or for the Alliance. Begin. Bancho will compete with Famous Chef in a new TV show. Let's bring him the ingredients he asked for. Oh god, wait! It's cooking mama. <laughs> Prep the onion. It actually is just cooking mama now. It's amazing. I need to prepare the fish. This is going to be more complicated. Slice this up. Fishy cubes. Coat the fish with starch. Okay. We actually have a new Cookin' Mama game now that's not being like pulled off the market for like mining crypto or some really weird stuff. People were speculating that's what it was doing. Because it was like really resource heavy on the Switch. It's kind of quite funny. No, don't shake the sushi. Fry it next. Fry the fish thoroughly. And release. Perfect. Stir fry the ingredients. It's one. Oh, this looks so good. I want that carrot. Still picking out just the veg. Here is our cuisine. The judge is casting his vote. Everyone's on the edge of their seats. He did it, Pancho. He's just screaming at him. <laughs> yes, as it should be. Scores a perfect 100. Victory achieved. 
Do, do we get money for this or anything? At last, I'm the best chef in Hong Kong. Of course, your dish was excellent in Hong Kong. It's the finest ingredients for flaws taste, but it wasn't good enough to impress me. Bancho's dish. Gave me a whole new experience with a fish called Stargazer. To be honest, it was my first time tasting the fish. I to give me a perfect blend of interest and fresh taste with Stargazer. The classic taste of sweet and sour sauce. I'm talking only about the taste, yours is better, Wang Pang. But I highly admire Bancho's attempt to present a foreign taste in a familiar way. My final ver verdict is Bancho. Congratulations. Vincent clearly explained the reason for his decision. Bancho wins the match. Bancho, what are your thoughts? Ah, my thoughts. I wanted to present the... Thank you, Bancho. The champion saves words for more action, and we love it. Well, you did, you still won though, Bancho. It's alright. Even if you got cut off the air. See you next time. This was Reporter Yui. You still won, so it's alright. Amazing, Bancho. You best at Wang Pong in his area of expertise. He cares about nationality when it comes to food. Flavor is fair game. I have this feeling that this show will return again. With full confidence in your victory. Speaking of the contest. Got some new inspirations for Chinese cuisine while preparing for the competition. Write them down. Help me try something new when you have time. Okay, we, we do just get paid for that. that that's, that's pretty good. That was fun. Game is still pulling out the stops. Like, this late into it. Like, fuck it, we're cooking mama now. <laughs> like, that's great. I love it. Okay, blobfish tomato egg soup. That, that could be really good. Snailfish. Shrimp. Big eyed scad. Sea seahorse. Udon. Pumped parrotfish. Tomato egg soup. The best dish for the sushi restaurant. Okay, and then menu. What have we got? Oh, enhance it. Five hundred and twenty a bite. Oh, it's going so high. Can I wait? Phantom jellyfish jelly. We need to serve this tonight. Put this on the menu. Put vegetable sushi on the menu because it's so profitable. Just enhance these other ones then. Enhance the narwhal. We gotta enhance the dunkle. God, it's worth more. The dunkle's worth more. Enhance it. There's so much. Auto supply that. Panic, thank you for the thousand bits. We have weird tasting sandwiches, but veggie sushi is the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Just Ash, thank you for, thank you for 100 bits. Well, I've been watching you since your first Sims videos and I've stuck around ever since. Thanks for the years of entertainment. I appreciate all the content you've given us. Thank you very much. Very kind. Let's see. Gotta serve that dunkle. All right, this, this is gonna be a pretty good night for business. There's so much here. There's so much here. Open it up. All locally sourced too. Fresh from the Atlantic Ocean. 
Get going, get going, get going. Serve it up. There's so many. I, I need to help out. Oh, I took the wrong one. Veggie Sushi is instantly gone. One of the first ones to sell out. Get the wasabi. Okay, uh, you guys need to take some of that. Keep serving, just keep serving. There's so much. Too many people are still sat out of like deciding what to eat. There's only one left. <laughs> there are no items on the menu. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, uh, could you Quickly, just just chuck chuck some thrasher on. Everyone left. Oh no! Disaster right at the end. We only had one piece prepared. We could have made more. We could have made more. It was only twenty-two grand. Disaster. Absolute despair. Reset. It runs over. It's not worth it. Okay. Large enough now for a person to go through. Come down here when you're ready. Common sense to clear all the missions before fighting the boss in an RPG. It's not an RPG game, but being overly prepared doesn't hurt. Oh okay, yeah, the game the game's even warning you. Chapter seven, broken control room. Oh, is this it? No, time wise. It's half seven. We've gone four and a half hours. About how like is this actually it? Just help me out, chat. I'm just making sure. Cause I wanna make sure that like we're not gonna go like be here for like two more hours or something. Yes. Okay. It's a long final mission. Oh. Do we leave it a day? It might be safest to leave it a day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a horrific cliffhanger. The jellyfish with some kind of wizard hat. Wait, what's on the fish radar? It's teleporting jellyfish. You need a sniper rifle. Near the yellow shipwreck. Some kind of mail is here, too. It's the Marilyn party. Oh, okay. This is our next exciting event. A jellyfish with a wizard hat. Okay, oh, this is a horrific cliffhanger. Like, this is it. <laughs> but we have to leave it there for tonight. We have to leave it there. Uh, what I might do, because I really want to see how this ends, I may even just stream this tomorrow. I may just like pick it up tomorrow and just keep going because I, I actually really want to see what's at the end of this too. So we might just do an extra stream tomorrow. At what time? Probably the same time we started out today. Like two or three. I might just do that though because I really do want to finish Dave. Uh, but for now, we're going to have to leave it there. Save and return the title. Oh, it's such a good game. I love it. Like the perfect palate cleanser after uh, Detective Pikachu. I'm, I'm glad we still have a bit more to go with this. 
That's nice too. I, I I was thinking that we might have actually finished Day of the Diver today. That's nice that we have at least one more session with it. I can get the update in the meanwhile. Yeah, I can. Uh, but thank you so much, everyone, for coming by the stream. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to everyone who gave subs. Thank you to the mods that's ever been on hand. Hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking... Okay, but tomorrow is an off-schedule day. Tomorrow is an off-schedule day, actually. Okay, just for ease of scheduling, and so people aren't blindsided and miss the end of this, uh, we'll finish Dave the Diver on Thursday. I had something else I was going to do on Thursday. I might just do that tomorrow. I might just swap things around. Um, because because otherwise, there's a bit of a chance that people will just miss it. Yeah, no, I, I know. Like it, It's just because if I if I do it, I can off-schedule one randomly, and it's going to be like people will actually miss it. So I'd rather not be like, people show up on Thursday. It's like, hey, what do you mean you finished it? You know? <laughs> I'd rather just play something different if we're going to do an extra stream. I might just do a stream tomorrow. I'll see how I feel. But we'll save Dave the Diver for Thursday. And we will finish the game then. And then maybe on a stream tomorrow, it'll be off schedule. So I'll keep people posted if it's happening. Easiest way to go about it. So the sharks will be spared today. I mean, Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. It's terrible. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, who is streaming? Whose care can I leave you in? Uh. Snaps Cube is doing Sonic Unleashed. That sounds like a train wreck of a game. Uh, so I'm gonna leave you in our care. It's a good game, all caps. Very convincing. Yeah, go say hey. Go wish him well. See what's up with Sonic. I'm gonna be off for the night. Thanks for coming, folks, as ever. Got more to watch from me, too. Detective Pikachu Highlights is up. If you want to experience that train wreck of a game. Went up earlier today, so enjoy it. <laughs> Highlights. You mean lowlights? The Detective Pikachu lowlights are up. Ah. Uh. Thanks for coming, folks. I'll, I'll, I'll see you all uh, maybe tomorrow. Dave the Diver on Thursday. Take care. <laughs>